Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games on Quick Hotfix. This is Legally Cute. I went through four show names there. <laughs> it's like, anyway. Uh, this is the Frost Fatalis Cute Show. I am not Cutie Roo. I am your backup host for this evening. Unfortunately, Cutie couldn't be here. Uh, we have a bunch of lovely games for you tonight. Before we get into all of that, uh, a few quick reminders. SGQ 2023 is coming up May 28th through June 4th in Minneapolis, Minnesota. If you're interested in attending the event, registration is open now until May 3rd. Off-site volunteer submissions are closed, but you can keep your eyes on GamesDoneQuick.com for more upcoming SGDQ dates. As well, Games Done Quick is returning to PAX East 2023. Uh, it's going on right now, actually. Uh, be sure to check out the speedrun stage if you're interested in watching some speedruns or playing through a gauntlet of uh, mini speedrun challenges. With all that said, uh, we've got a crew of uh, runners here for our first game. We'll hand it over to them and let them introduce themselves. Playing Satan Loves Cake for um, a few months. I'm second place on the leaderboard, and I'm really excited to be here and run this. Hi, I'm Eliza. Uh, I've been speedrunning for a couple of years now, but Satan Loves Cake is amazing, so wanted to show it off. I know absolutely nothing about this game, so I am excited. Perfect. The title Perfect. says a lot. <laughs> yeah, the title says it all. I mean... <laughs> All right, I'm ready when you are, Josie. All right. Um, do you want me to count us down? All right. Sure. Uh, the time starts when we hit new game, so we're going to go in three, two, one, go. So the game starts with a cutscene of Satan eating cake and running out of cake. Um, you're not, we're, it's got really funny dialogue that we're just going to mash through. <laughs> but I, I assure you, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> Satan is a mood. <laughs> Satan is a mood. Satan realizes, like, mid-bite that he is out of cake. <laughs> he immediately calls to try and have cake delivered, and they're like, nah, everything's hacked up, you gotta come get your cake. And he says, prepare your cakes, I'll be there in five. And if we're there in five, that is gonna blow the world record right out of the water. <laughs> so it's a simple Metroidvania where you jump and shoot. It's most of your, uh, most of your stuff. Um... When you kill the little enemies, they have um, food they drop that you use to buy upgrades later. The so, like, elevator's the bane of my existence again. <laughs> <laughs> the um, the early part of this, the game is really about like running as efficiently as you can to try and get as much farm done, just to try and you know shave as much time off of everything. And like right away, here we are. We're gonna start farming. <laughs> this is uh, this is the better farming room. There's two farming rooms and we'll go to see the other one later. But this one has three of these little like spiky guys that you see in every Metroidvania. And um, they only take one hit to kill, so. Uh, they also give 3% belly. Uh, mm -hmm. The grubs only give 2%. Grubs so. are just worthless. Jeez. They are. Right? I'm, they I'm take two hits. <laughs> I'm eternally disappointed in them. Not, <laughs> not as much as the frogs or the fish, but still. Uh, <laughs> Um, so we'll just um, continue on the route here. Again, like, we're just trying to catch as much farm as we can and get um, safely to the next area. Wait, somebody just said something reminds them of Snom in chat. Are they the spiky yes. things or the grubs? <laughs> no, the grubs. They, they look like little, like, grubbins, like the Pokemon. That's what I always think of. But they kind of okay. look like Snoms, too. They look like less friendly snoms. <laughs> snoms are adorable. These are kind of, I don't know, they're kind of weird. <laughs> so we're snoms are very friendly. Yeah. Um, we're going to buy our first upgrade here at the outhouse. It's Charge Shot. Um, it does what it sounds like. It lets you charge a shot, which breaks certain types of walls and lets you boost your jump, which we'll demonstrate right away. As we head into the most difficult part of the game, I think, platforming-wise, I call it Sticks because it's a big river in hell. Um, it tracks. So there's a damage boost I'm going to take here. Ow. <laughs> oh no, oh no, I fell. Oh no. Ah, my. <laughs> oh no, I had a little technical error there. Well, I'm going to go by charge shot again. My, uh, my controller did a whoopsie doodle. No, not the controller issues again. Right. 
Thank you, that's Frog. Okay. That's the nicest you've been. He just jumped uh, right off the screen for me. Aw, uh, did the troll frog not troll you? He didn't. He did the opposite. He Aww. was a friend. He is a friend. Maybe he'll be nice to me since I decided to um, <laughs> have have controller issues. Uh, so, the little benches, much like in Hollow Knight, are your save points and checkpoints. Uh, I take a lot of them because I'm bad. <clears throat> I'm glad I took the one I don't normally take because because <laughs> controller issues. Oh, yeah. my frog decided to play in the pond. He's doing great. <laughs> uh, so this is Tayaki, the first boss. Um, he swims around. He has three different jump out patterns that he can do. That's the good one. Uh, the first one I got, we call the bad one. You can still get a hit on him. It's just a lot more difficult, and sometimes the timing is dumb. And that's the okay one. So we're just gonna charge up because it does more damage and shoot him and I missed. So now he just chills there on this one. Kind of nice because it means you get the hit, but also takes time. So <laughs> uh, <clears throat> every time you defeat a boss, you, you eat them because they are cake. Um, and then you get a bigger belly because that's how bellies work. Uh, so <laughs> we're, we're going to farm again so we can get the next ability and the only other ability we need. Yeah, we're going to do a little bug to cheat the, uh, the computer and the, into the shop into letting us have it, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> don't you love this little Satan's right? Like I absolutely love him. He's so cute. He's like chubby and he's got a booty. He's like a little caked up <laughs> Prince of Darkness. <laughs> and he's got the like clear cake stains all over his mouth. Like, There's the deeper lore here going on that like everything's in disrepair in hell because Satan's just sitting there munching on cake and watching stupid TV shows all the time and like not holding anyone accountable. There's a bunch of signs across here that are like little tutorials for crossing things that are like notes from Chiron like, yeah, I meant to fix this, but uh, it's out, so whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so I took that extra bench there because you can soft lock if you buy wall jump and then die without saving. Uh, you can never again get wall jump, even if you go through the game and like get to the point where you should be able to get wall jump, the game is still just like, no, you can't have it. <laughs> so I, I take that extra bench because I'm bad at this part. Mm, I'm, I'm going to be daring and skip some bench. fishies. <laughs> wall jump, much like its name implies, lets us uh, jump on the wall. Yeah, like every Getting good wall Metroidvania. Jump. Getting wall jump early lets us skip a big section where you have to like run around and stuff to get it to get wall jump in the shop. You have to basically go up to the door to hell and have it be like our the door to the city and it'd be like, no, you can't go in here, it's blocked or whatever. And then go back and it's it's a whole bunch and why do that when you can just not? Yeah, I mean Uh this is Kachikage, my least favorite boss. He jumps a lot. And he has troll frogs that he throws at you. Uh, okay, he's gonna give me the bad RNG. Um, Ugh. All right, let's see how Kachikage treats me. Okay, oh cool, I just got hit by that frog twice. So that's... Uh, so... so kind of... Go for it. I'm... So Kachikage, if you've ever like fought the Fantoon in Super Metroid, he goes away when you do a charge shot, right? So you gotta get four hits, in, normal hits in on him before you hit him with a charge shot in order to maximize your damage before he goes back into that little cupcake holder thing he lives in. Oh shoot, I missed the cycle. Uh, if you if you hit him with a charge shot when he comes back down, well, when he's coming down from his cupcake holder, he, um, he'll go right back up into something else. It's a free hit, basically. So, yep, I just died to that because he's he wanted to troll me. Oof, okay, so I'm getting... <laughs> I'm getting absolutely hecked. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I was paying attention to the frogs. The frogs are being rude. Yeah, I was paying attention to the frogs and he landed on me. That's exactly what happened to me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Twinsies. All right. 
Uh, so, fun fact, uh, this boss's kajikage is a type of Danish um, cake. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> taiyaki is a... <laughs> and raspberry, and then, yeah, taiyaki's a, a Japanese cake, so... <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, so even the bosses are cake. <laughs> Cake in name only. They are not. They are not like a piece of cake. <laughs> I, if the the thing about like Kajikage is so bad is if you get like bad RNG because it's random where he puts the electricity on the floor. Sometimes he'll be on the floor. Sometimes he'll be on the walls. And if he does it on the floor too many times, you can end up like jumping around with like four freaking frogs like trying to absolutely murder you. Oh, that frog got real close to my face. I don't like it. Whew. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, that's okay. That frog should have died. And he just jumped on me instead. I hit him three times and oh, then he jumped on me. All right, Kachikage down. <laughs> Yum. Rats. <laughs> Thanks. So... Immediately after Kajikage, they put you in this really difficult, like, uh, claustrophobic section, you know, just to try and dare you not to take that bench. <laughs> it, uh, you're like, you're like, oh, usually if you've got a run that's going really well, I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah we can skip the bench, we can skip the bench, and you never want to skip that bench. It'll, it, it really wants to eat your run there. But I do it. You do it when you're really, really want that time. <laughs> it makes this all really horrible. Um, one of the things about this game is that um, when the enemies, when you hit them and they're in iframes, they also can't hurt you. It turns off their contact damage. So, like, a lot of times, especially with the little grubbins that take two hits, you, it's, it's a lot faster just to smack them once and then while they're flashing, just walk right through them. Like that. Save, save. And sometimes with things like the fish there, well, I didn't quite get it, but with the fish there, if you tag them on the way up, they'll go uh, invisible when they go to bite you, so they don't actually do anything. Thanks, frog. <laughs> oh my gosh, the frogs are mean today. That, that one, the, the one in sticks was a freaking liar. Like, he's like, don't worry, we'll be cool today. And they just aren't. They are snappy and mean. But yeah, normally this is the way you would go before you get wall jump, and you'd go and this guy would be standing here, and you'd have to talk to him back and blow through here, there and then go. backtrack all the way around. It's it's a lot. Third time's the charm on Kajikage. There you go. <laughs> Those frogs were being so rude. Rude frogs. So I'm gonna do the thing where I don't take the bench. <laughs> yeah. Be brave. <laughs> I'm being brave. Be brave. Fortune favors the bold. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody right. just said I heard Satan can bench 200 pound cakes. And yes, thank you. <laughs> oh my God, thank that's you. brilliant. <laughs> and here we are in the city of hell. I don't know if there's actually got a name or not, but people live here, I think. And we go to the cake shop, which is run by the adorable Cerberus. And time's going to be when it irises out on Satan. He's like, oh, and, then, and time. Yeah, basically what happens is you get there and uh, you talk to Cerberus and Cerberus is like, all right, where's your money for the cake? And Satan's like, I don't have money. And then that's then it's like, bah, bah, da, 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 it's over. <laughs> <laughs> um, this game is really fun. It's a really good game to like pick up as your first run. Speaking of somebody who's a fairly new runner, it's pay what you want. They ask $2 for it which is fairly reasonable for how much fun it is. Yeah. I believe it was made in a game jam. Um, if you Google Satan Loves Cake, it'll it'll come up real easy to find. Um, you know, made by one person. I think our, our music by another. Like, really good stuff. Like That's uh, the wrong way. Uh, it's also got lots of fun color palettes, so... Oh, yeah. I can actually show that off while you're, while you're doing this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so I... I picked the black and white because I'm going to be running Gato Roboto later tonight, and Gato Roboto is also in black and white, so it felt fun. Yeah, I ran I ran the cake palette just because it's the default, but there's also mint, which is really cute. It's this cute blue, and then I usually I run soda sometimes because I like the red, orange is my favorite color. Um, the veggies is kind of greeny. Um, 
and then purple, and then like the sickly is supposed to kind of look Game Boy-ish, I'm thinking, like that green Game Boy palette that you would get. Or no, there's the Game Kid one, that's the Game Boy. Okay, I'm gonna just make an idiot of myself real quick. <laughs> Um, there's the Sakura one, which I like because it's pink on pink, but it's a little, it's a little bright for, well, everything. And the poison one's really good because it's very high contrast, so green and red. Honey is the blinding one. We'll, we'll go right off of that. <laughs> Grandma's sepia toned, which is, you know, in case you want to do those old tiny speed runs. Uh, the Jenko one's really cute. Um, I don't know what it's based on, but I like, I always like having blue and red palettes. And then there's the monochrome and back to cake. All right, we're coming up on... On Cerberus here myself, finally. All right. So. <laughs> and time. Woo! GG's. <laughs> Yay! Thanks. That, that looks like a really fun game. <laughs> yeah, when it's you get such to, a fun game. It's it's all it's almost all optimization. I've found a couple of tricks, and I actually have a um, video tutorial for it on my YouTube. Um, but I'm going to be making a new one because I found a bunch of new stuff since then. But um, if anyone wants to get into it, uh, you can uh, find me on uh, Twitter. Uh, I'm JoJosie107. Or you can find me on Twitch. I'm twitch.tv JoJosie. And hit me up. I'll be sure to give you all the details to know about the game and link you to the, uh, link you to the, the tutorial and everything because it's, it's really fun. Yes, and JoJosie is a great teacher, so Aww. definitely hit her up. Well, thank you. Uh, um, do, either, uh, do either of you have anything else you want to add? Or? Uh, I, really, I really want to thank the Frame Fatales community. They definitely helped me get from a, uh, from a watcher to a volunteer to a runner, and it's been really uh, great having, like, support and um, a good community backing that. Yeah. Fatalis has been wonderful. I would yeah. agree with that. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. Thanks, y'all. Yeah, thanks everyone for watching. And thank you both so much. That was a great run. Uh, y'all knocked it out of the park. Uh, and like you said, uh, Frank Patel's is awesome. Y'all should check it out. Uh, with that said, uh, we've got uh, more runs coming up. So we're going to take a quick break and then we'll be back with uh, VVVVVV. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Game is Done Quick Hot Fix. This is Legally Cute, and we have our Frost Fatales Cute Show tonight. I am still not Cutie Roo. I am still filling in. Uh, we have VVVVVV here as our second game, and we've got a new cast of runners and commentary, so I'll hand it over to them. Hey, everybody. My name is March TV, and I'm going to be doing commentary for this wonderful VVVVVV Speedrun glitchless between Metroid Crime and Indie Villain. Metroid, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Metroid Crime. I love this game so much. You may have seen me run it at Frost Fatales and other hotfix shows. Um, and I'm so happy here uh, to be racing against uh, my racing partner, Indie Villain. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm also happy to be here. Um, yeah, this is going to be a good race. We, we race all the time and we're always really, really close. So uh, we'll see who wins. Yeah. All right. Uh, you guys ready for a countdown? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Uh, from three and on go. Okay. Three, Kay. two, one, go. Perfect. All right. Good luck to both runners. So this is VVVVVV. This is a platformer from 2010. Kind of made to look like a Atari style uh, game, as you can see, but uh, quite modern. Um, it's very simple controls, just left, right, and flip. So flip is going to reverse our gravity and uh, basically make it so we'll walk on the ceiling and walk on the floor. That's that's it for controls. Um, but this is a very challenging game, still very technical. And right at the start, both players getting the very first cycle. Uh, so this is a very heavy cycle-based game. Uh, you'll see all these moving objects that we have to avoid. And um, <clears throat> they, they're always on set patterns when you enter the room. So a lot of them have very, very tight uh difficult patterns to get through quickly um so right out of the gate that traffic jam one is one of the it's actually one of the harder ones and you lose like three or four seconds if you if you get wrong um so crime showing a little bit of early nerves there slipping off the platform 
Uh, so this game does have kind of icy physics. Uh, you don't immediately go full speed and you don't immediately stop either. Um, so it can be quite difficult to control uh, and um, it's very easy to just go a little bit too far and hit a spike and there's lots and lots and lots of spikes. Uh, so that is Indy getting out of the Space Station 1 and rescuing Violet, although some might argue that Violet is rescuing uh, Viridian, that's us, uh, Captain Viridian. Um, and Absolutely. Crime is through too. So yeah, basically uh, there's there's uh, six crew members counting ourselves. We're all scattered throughout this dimension. It's our job to go rescue everybody. Um, one of the cool things about this game is that uh, there's four levels that you can kind of choose from uh, when you leave the ship. Uh, and because they're all open at the start, you can pick which levels you want to run. So both runners are going to be heading straight to Space Station 2, uh, which is generally regarded as uh, the hardest level in the game, because if you're speedrunning, why not, why not put the hardest barriers uh, right up front? Um, the, uh, every level, so now they're kind of in the overworld, they're just flying through space, making their way to the, uh, to the level itself. You can see uh, Indy's entering, and Crime is right behind. Um, still very, very close. This game, so much can go wrong, so much can lose time. It's not over until it's absolutely over. Uh, so Indy just grabbed the first shiny trinket. The shiny trinkets are, um, they're, they're like bonuses. You won't see uh, them collect too many. Um, that one just happens to be faster than going uh, the regular route. Um, yeah, you can see one of the main gimmicks of this level is that we have these conveyors. And uh, the conveyors will either make you go faster, make you go slower, and uh, with the aforementioned kind of slighty ice physics, it can be quite difficult to navigate. Uh, the lies room is where Indy is right now. That's kind of a, a tricky section. Uh, got through it, no problem. Ooh, oh, it didn't, didn't quite get cloud, get cloud skip. skip. Nope. Yep, that, that's uh, it's a tricky, a very very tight uh, buffered flip. Ooh, uh, I got Brian it. got it though. That'll put her <laughs> that'll put her back in contention for sure. Uh, Indy is mm -hmm. still a little bit ahead, at least on my screen. Um, but uh, these runners are neck and neck right now. Um, so yeah, one thing about this game, some interesting tech, is that um, if you hold the flip button down, ooh, unfortunate death there from Bad Prime, death, just barely yeah. clipped the, the spike, but unfortunately I put her behind a, a cycle. But um, So uh, with the flip button, basically uh, you can you can press the flip button before um, before you hit the ground, and that, oh, uh, death Vanger death Boss. Indy. Yeah. <laughs> the Vanger Boss, in the front of Vanger Boss. I've never seen that one I just one ran before. straight wow. into it. That Aww. was so bad. <laughs> Give me time to catch up, though, yeah, so thank yeah, you. Really Appreciate good. it. Absolutely. No problem, um, no problem. Uh, so, so yeah, so they, they can buffer the flips uh, so you can do like a frame-perfect flip, which will uh, which does make some of these rooms quite a bit easier. Um, You'll also notice that uh, we have these checkpoints that are kind of all over the place, but if we want to go fast, obviously sometimes we don't want to go out of our way uh, and touch them. So um, it's always kind of a risk reward. Do you want to, you want to, you know, shave half a second off, but risk adding uh, quite a bit more time if you if you fail, you know. Um, so there, both runners have saved uh, Vitillary. He's our yellow guy who's named after uh, egg yolks. I guess that's a scientific mm -hmm. term for egg yolks. Uh, and now both runners are heading to the tower. So the tower is an auto scroller, um, and so you might wonder why it's ha why it's coming second. The main reason is that uh, so after you, after you complete your second level, uh, there is an intermission level, and who comes along with you to that level is determined by the last level that you beat. So if we beat the tower, we'll bring Vermilion with us to the next level, and Vermilion has the least amount of dialogue, so he's the fastest guy to bring along. Uh, despite this being an auto scroller, there is there is some speed tech to it. Uh, you'll see uh, some death boosting here. There you saw one from Indy. Um, you'll see uh, there's six of them that are human viable. There's a seventh that the task does, um, but you won't be seeing that here today. I don't think any humans do that. Um, so basically, this abuses the fact that the camera uh, wants to catch up to your respawn po position. Um, and so if you just barely grab the checkpoint as soon as you can, um, you, you'll die, but the camera will scooch forward. And you have to be you have to be very precise with it because a you can be too early and then you die and lose a lot of time, and you can also be too late because the death does um, the death does add a little bit of time. Like you can see how the screen sort of freezes um, uh, after each death. So uh, to make it really save time, you really got to be on the cutting edge of grabbing that checkpoint. 
Um, so Indy's pretty much cleared the, uh, the death boosting section, uh, crime as as well. So this, if we have any announcements or donations or anything like that, this is a perfect time for them. <laughs> uh... Well, I've got uh, no, unfortunately, no <laughs> donations. However, just so used to it. So used to it. <laughs> That's right. Um, we've we've uh, we've raced this game twice before at events. Uh, Indy has won both of them, so um, I was hoping to win this one, but he seems to be significantly ahead of me at the moment. I so it's not it's not significant. <laughs> strong. That's I'm, strong. Uh, yeah, I'm going for top route on this next level, and if I don't get a first try, we're caught up. So yeah. Okay. So, okay. So with this level, uh, basically, so we have Vermilion here who doesn't talk a lot, which is good. Uh, he will follow. He will come towards uh, Viridian when Viridian's feet are on the ground, and he'll stay put when Viridian's on the ceiling. So we have to carefully guide uh, Vermilion through these obstacles, make sure he doesn't touch any moving objects or any spikes. Uh, he does have the same slippery ice physics as uh, 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 Viridian, so uh, you have to be careful, like right here, for instance, not to go too fast, or he'll fly off and die, and then you have to start the room over. Uh, Indy's going to be going for this top route here. In this section, he's going to... Ooh, he already fell once. He's yeah, gonna I'm go going for, for it again. one more try. Nope. Okay, oh, bottom route it is. Bottom route it going is. Going for bottom route. So you can kind of skip this whole part here where you... Uh, you bring Ver, uh, Ver, Vermilion over slowly like that. Uh, it's a very, very challenging trick, though. Um, uh, it was a pretty big risk going for that, and uh, he, uh, India still is in the lead, but um, uh, since Crime did not go for the top route, she's right on his heels, right on his heels right now. So yeah, It was a risk-reward decision there. If I had hit it first time, I would have been significantly ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how many seconds that, uh, that saves. About I think it's around five and a half eight? to six, I think. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that sounds. It's a lot because you don't. It saves you having to go all the way back out. You just go straight there, basically. Um, yeah. I forgot which, where I was going. We're going to warp zone. Warp so, yeah, zone time. So, yeah. As Indy said, we're heading now to warp zone, which uh, you could kind of think of as the second most difficult of the four choose your own levels. Um, as are we saying hi to Vermilion? I guess not. Huh? I will say hi to Vermilion. Yeah. Listen, listen, Vermilion did a great job today. Hey, Vermilion, <laughs> thank you for your help. He's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so as the name implies, Warp Zone, uh, you're going to see a lot of warping. And you can already see they're not actually in the level proper yet. Um, but the uh, you can already see there's a lot of warping going on. A lot of uh, interesting uh, level wrapping mechanics. Uh, as they get into the level proper, there'll start to be some like kind of asteroid screen wrapping mechanics. But it'll be kind of playfully inconsistent, where sometimes the screen will wrap and sometimes it'll take you to the next area. So they just have to navigate this little maze here. And then now they're coming into the warp zone itself. Um, a lot of tough cycles in this one. Um, there's, uh, we'll see how these go. Hopefully nothing too crazy, but we'll see. So you can see now the screen's kind of wrapping there for Indy. Now a lot of wrapping, a lot of popping out on various sides, but then uh, once we go off the top of this level, then we'll, pr we'll pr proceed onwards. Ooh, a little death that there took Indy. One too many steps there on the top platform. And that room that Indy was just in is a, a buffered room. So you, uh, you hold right, you buffer the flip, and you're through no problem. Very, very nice. And he's onto the boo room. So of course, what everyone calls that. And yes. <laughs> you'll also see some patterns in this game where the, the objects move just a little bit faster, just a little bit slower than, than your fall rate. Um, kind of some foreshadowing to what's coming up uh, next. But um, they can be very difficult uh, because you have to make a decision what to do. Very nice uh, cycles there from Indy. And very nice cycles from crime. Those those, those heart rooms with the broken hearts and the rig, those are nasty. Yeah. Very, very okay. nasty. I'm really glad was... neither of us got stuck there. Yeah, me yeah. too. Absolutely. I was hoping I was kind of hoping you might, because then I could catch up, but you know, we're we're going into the Gravitron, so. Yeah. Anything can happen in the Gravitron. <laughs> so now entering the Gravitron. So the Gravitron, this is one of the most infamous parts in this entire game. Basically, uh, so there's this little bouncing mechanic where you touch this line and it flips you, which we haven't actually discovered the level that contains this yet. But basically, we're going to bounce here. We have to survive for 60 seconds. Uh, every five seconds will be a checkpoint. 
Um, the uh, blocks come out in kind of a pattern, but they are also random. Um, you can kind of see what I mean, like they're coming from the left, you know, one at a time, and they'll come from the right one at a time. But when things get really chaotic, we'll be at the 30 second mark. So both runners, nice and steady, making their way on through. Um, you know, these can definitely still catch you in this part, but I think the 30 seconds. So now, uh, and he's in the 30 second, they're coming from both sides, basically purely random at this point. Both runners have been very good gravitrons so far. I don't want to jinx it though. Indy is past the 20 second mark. Uh, pretty quick death there from Crime. If you die and you're close to the 25 mm. second mark, it's not so bad. Um, the if you pattern's die a little you... bad, but. Yeah, I mean, some very rough patterns here. But we're past the 20 second mark there. Oh, that was kind of a late death. Yeah, so if you're if you were almost at a checkpoint and you die, you lose a, you lose a bunch of time. Um, this this room is absolutely infamous for killing runs because as you can see, it's it's basically a whole it's a whole different game. Um, in the last five seconds for crime, Indy is out. Oh, that was unfortunate. But unfortunate, yeah. Still very very quick death though. And if you die after the timer runs out, you you are still fine. So you just keep on through. So Indy is heading off to Lab now. Uh, lab is generally regarded as the easiest level in the game. Uh, and the best. By the, and the best. Best level also, yeah. As the I'm also the yeah. se se second best <laughs> music in the game. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's very, very good music. This whole this whole game has excellent music. It's kind yeah. of renowned for uh, having a great soundtrack. Um, so this is where the line mechanic is first introduced. They kind of assume that this would be the first level because it's it's like straight south of the of the spaceship. So most players will naturally find it pretty quickly uh, as they explore the world. But since it's uh, easy, we want to save it for last. So this is the same level, the same little flipping mechanic that you get from uh, in the Gravitron. So um, generally speaking, not too bad. Both players zipping on through. There are a couple tight. Uh, tricks here and there. Um, oh, the I missed one. it. I oh. missed it. You missed your trick? No, the coyote jump, I had to go back for it. Oh. oh yeah, so speaking of, uh, so coyote jumps, uh, it, coyote jumps are a, a mechanic that exists in a few different games. Uh, basically what that means is that uh, you have like, a, what, a couple pixels or a couple frames after leaving a platform where you can still, uh, you can still uh, flip. Um, so the runners have been using that. It's a very subtle technique, that, but it, it can really help. You can see how Crime just flew right through that uh, that cycle room there because uh, because of that coyote flip helped her uh, line up the the cycle properly and enter the room in, in the right spot. So both runners very very close. Uh, Victoria is saved by Indy, and Victoria is saved by Crime. There's just uh, they're one cutscene apart right now, basically, and we are now heading into the final level. Uh, so the final level is basically going to bring together. All of the all the gimmicks from uh, the various stages. So we're going to have screen wrapping. We'll have line flipping. We'll have scrolling rooms. We'll have we'll have it all. Uh, so it can be very challenging. Um, there's some very tight uh, cycles. Like the, that yes cycle can be pretty mean sometimes, um, and a lot of bouncing as you can see. Uh, here's the breadstick room, as everyone knows. <laughs> Thank you. Breadsticks. Breadsticks, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just love breadsticks, is what I'm at. <laughs> um, and yeah, so both runners making their way through. Oh, a little death there from crime. Bad death, but I got yeah. breadsticks, so. Got breadsticks, so that's nice. good. Everyone loves a good breadstick. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Garlic breadsticks, please. So Indy has destabilized the dimension and is making their way backwards. This time slip is infamous for killing runs. Got through it, no problem. Um, it's, it, it looks simple, but with the the uh, conveyor belt combined with the cycle, it can actually be really nasty. Um, we're coming up on the end here pretty quickly, actually. Uh, there's just um, Ooh, a little that's odd rough. Little there from uh, Dylan. That just killed my chance of PB, by the way. Oh no! Were you about to PB? I oh, wow. was. That just ruined wow. it. Wow! Wow! Uh, that's rough. Oh. Yeah, once you once you start getting on, on the higher end of this, even even one or two deaths where you don't mean to can completely ruin your run. I think the world I'm records not don't panic. have any extra deaths at all. You got this crime. 
panicking in the panic room. Let's go. Right. Indy is getting the last shiny trinket and flying up into space. Uh, time for Indy is coming up very, very soon. And... Time. Oops. It's time for Indy. So crime was right behind. This was so mm. close. This was so we close. Very, crime very coming close in the again. last room. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, geez. These guys, these two have been running, racing each other <laughs> for for months and months and months. Um, yes. One of the longest yeah. running uh, <laughs> competitions in all of speedrunning that I'm aware of. And That's it's, good. It's, <laughs> it's so fun to see you guys. It's so close every time. Yeah. Um, I know mm. you're going to come back and, and you're going to annihilate them. In a, in a marathon one of these days. Honestly, but. I think this is the best time I've had in a marathon. Um, yeah, same with me. So This so is my like, second best run ever. I got very yeah. lucky. Wow. I got extremely <laughs> lucky. That's so amazing. Wow, yeah. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Absolutely um, amazing. But yeah, this is this game is awesome. You should try it out. It is um, great, whether you're speedrunning it or playing it casually. Um, I highly recommend it. Great soundtrack. Really fun to puzzle solve and figure out how to solve rooms. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you so much, um, for having us on. It's really yeah, awesome absolutely. to be able to race this at GDQ, <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> um, gross. on Hotfix. Um, and, uh, yeah. Um, but I want to show everyone very quickly yeah. as we go through this, uh, the reason why this, this game is adorable. There's like so much going on with lore in this game. Um, there's an entire love story happening. Um, there's all sorts of things going on behind the scenes that you can read mo off of monitors in the game. Um, and uh, at the end, when you complete it, uh, you get this really, really cute and awesome photo of the entire uh, crew back together playing some really great Rockin jams. Rocking out. Rocking out. That's yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. If you have the Switch version, it's actually even cuter. Yeah, um, yeah. Really? They, they're kind of like little chibi characters almost in the Switch version. Mm -hmm. it's, it's super yeah. cute. Yeah. That's um, awesome. But yeah, um, I'm, I'm Metroid Crime. Uh, you can find me on twitch.tv slash Metroid Crime. Um, I'm streaming all the time, playing speedrunning, doing speedrunning, mostly this game. Um, Indy? Yeah, uh, I'm Indie Villain. Um, you can find me uh, at Indie Villain on basically every social media. And I also work behind the scenes uh, with Lady Arcaders, which, uh, you know, check that out if you haven't uh, yeah. heard of that. How about you, March? And yeah, you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash March underscore TV. I also do speedrunning uh, various games. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for having me on and to do commentary again for y'all. And GG's to both runners. That was awesome. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. And thanks for coming back on with us. <laughs> My pleasure. Yeah, absolutely. That was a great race. Uh, Y'all did. Uh, everybody did. You know, awesome. So thank you all so much for being on. Um, we do have more runs coming up. So uh, before we go to a quick break, just a quick reminder: uh, your subs, Prime Gaming subs, gift subs, and bitch cheered on the GDQ Twitch channel do help support games on Quick Topics. So if you like any of the content you're uh, watching, if you like Legally Cute or any of our other reoccurring shows, please do consider subscribing. It really does help. Uh, with that said, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with the next run. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hot Fix. This is Legally Cute. I continue to not be your regular host. Uh, we have a third game for you tonight, Gata Roboto, and we have a familiar face. I will still let her introduce herself, though. Hey guys, I'm Eliza, back again for some Gato Roboto. Uh, this is another fun little Metroidvania where you play as a cat, and sometimes you're in a mech suit. A lot of times you're in a mech suit. All right, so, I'm sold. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure. <laughs> so, Say no more. <laughs> I'm going to get us started here in uh, three, two, one, go. So you uh, crash land on this planet with your, I think he's your owner or something. I don't know. He gets stuck in the spaceship, though. So you have to be the cat and you have to go save him. Uh, I'm going to mash through a bunch of text because they talk a lot. Uh, so we come over to this screen and Kiki's like, uh, I don't know about this, y'all. And owner is like, it's just water. You can do it and scares the cat. So now we can swim in water. Uh, so fun mechanic about or fun 
fun thing about this game. So like I said, there's two versions. There's you as the cat and there's you in the mech suit. When you're the cat, you have one health. So if you get hit, you die. Uh, when you're in the mech suit, you have anywhere from 6 to 16, depending on how many uh, health cartridges you collect. And since this is 100%, we're going to be collecting all of them. So now we get the mech suit. Uh, we learn that we can shoot things and that we can eject. And we are going to come fight our first enemies. Uh, these guys, you time your shots just right so that... Uh, you're hitting them after their iframes are over. And then we're through to the first room. So sometimes you'll get locked in a room until you defeat uh, all of the enemies. And other times the enemies are just there to get in the way. So we are climbing up, back up. Uh, we're going to go back past the spaceship here in a second. But first we're going to grab a health uh, collectible. And damage boost a lot because we collect all the health, which means we can just do that. So we just damage boost to cut off the water because while Kitty can swim, the mech cannot. Technically. Good sense. <laughs> we're gonna come back over this way and we're gonna do uh, the one major trick, which actually... I Can we get a flashing light warning for when I'm near save points? Um, so we can trick the game, if I can time this right, into thinking that the mech is the size of the cat. There we go. Yeah, so, sure. the, yeah, the, the big mechanic of this game is swapping back and forth between the mech and the cat, depending on where you're at so that you can explore everything, because cats are small and mechs are big. Okay, if I could jump, that'd be great. This looks adorable. Uh, but yeah, so you can be small mech, which means you are the same size as the cat. And there's a lot of times, like that room right there, uh, there should have been a fight in that room. But because we were cat-sized, the game thought we were the cat. And because you only have one health as the cat, most of the rooms that have enemies like that don't have enemies when you're the cat. So we use that to skip a bunch of the bosses and other, like, arena rooms. I'm gonna swim down here and come get our first little power up after falling down some precariously small amazing and trying not to wall <laughs> you uh, fall slower when you're clung to the wall like that so try to avoid it and this is gonna be our rockets so now when we are in the mech we have rockets which can blow things up and can also give us a lot of boosts so that's kind of one of the big things that we use to get around to places that we shouldn't be able to. And we're just going to be running back to the mech. Uh, the game actually expects you to go back through a save point right there. You get your mech and then go a different direction. But this way lets us get back to where we left our mech previously, which is right next to where we need to go now. So do a little bit more swimming. Honestly, the swimming animation's like my favorite. It's like really cute. Okay. I think I think small mech might have to be my favorite so far though. <laughs> Good news is is we spend a lot of the game in small mech. Excellent. You You've sold me. Yeah. So this should be the first boss, but because we're small mech, we get to skip it. Um, so another mechanic you can kind of see over on the left, you have a, like, temperature gauge, uh, and that changes how often you can fire your rockets. So whenever the temperature gauge is full, you can't fire any more rockets, which, if you just rapid fire, you can do two, um, but if you kind of space them out a little bit, you can do a few more than that. So we're gonna come over there and grab another cassette, uh, which is the other collectible that I haven't talked about yet. Uh, that lets you change the color palette. So, th this game starts in black and white, but as you collect things, you can change the color palette to a bunch of different things. That's awesome. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so like I said, the rockets can be used to boost, so they can kind of give you a higher jump. Um, also, later, we'll be using it to uh, help us move a little bit faster. So... 
right here. Well, if I could time that right. There we go. Uh, you're not supposed to be able to get up here until after you go to the next area where you get the double jump. But because rocket boosts, we can get up here now so that we don't have to come back later. Okay, so thankfully most of the time the frogs are nice, uh, but there's a section here in a little bit where I am the cat. And sometimes the frogs, when you're just the cat, can be extra mean. So we're gonna we're gonna hope that they're a little bit nicer than they were during Satan loves cake. First, we gotta go get small mech again. Uh, basically, anytime you get out of the mech, you lose small mech. So you have to do it a few times. Okay, come on. There we go. Uh, so you know you got small mech because you kind of disappeared. You also get a feel for how this game sounds. Like the the sounds are slightly different. Different cat and mech. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what, once you once you start getting a feel for it, you're like, okay, now I I know I got it. The like three frame window, I think, to to do it. Oh. And basically you're like, you eject out of the mech as you're saving. So the game thinks that you're in the mech and puts you back in the mech. But you're not actually in the mech, so you're small. And the dev knows about it and said they will never remove it because they love it. So... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when devs don't patch out, the speedrunning tech is the best. So that was kind of the, the kind of start area. So now we're going to go, there's like three different kind of sections that we have to go through. Uh, the first of these is an underwater section called the aqueducts. And so I said earlier that uh, mechs can't swim, but I kind of lied. Mechs shouldn't be able to swim. But once again, if you eject it just the right time, you can swim with your mech. Uh, so. We're gonna come down here. We are gonna kill that thing because it's rude. And we're gonna try to... Yeah. So we eject right as the mech falls off of the edge of the um, platform. And so the, the mech falls into the water and ignores the fact that it shouldn't be in here. So in the water, there's this fun thing where the rockets just explode the second they come out of your uh your gun so we can kind of use that to get really easy rocket boosts and jump down here so this is technically supposed to be like the third area that you hit in this specific like in the aqueducts so what we're trying to do is there's these uh conveyor belts that like lower the water level in the aqueducts and we are trying to get to all of them to lower the, the water levels. Um, we are coming up on the potentially root frog section. Oh, I'm just gonna... Okay, cool, we're through it. Yeah, like I said, those frogs can be rude, like, they follow the same pattern, but if you jump just wrong, you hit them, and then you have to go all the way through, like, the water mech and all of that again. So. so we come get the mech so that we can shoot through that door, pop out into kitty mode so that we can use this little conveyor belt and lower the water level. And then we, now that the water level is low and we have our mech again, uh, we're gonna go swimming with the mech again so that we can get our double jump. Okay. Come on. There we go. So now we just come right down here and do a quick little arena fight. We just... I missed that one. That was rude. 
There we go. Kill those guys, and now we have double jump. And now we can use our rockets to shoot like behind us and down and stuff like that to get extra boosts in other directions pretty easily. The other fun thing is because you're spinning during the jump, you can't actually be hurt as long as you're spinning and you actually do damage. So it's a little bit of an extra protective layer once you get the spin jump. And now we're just gonna backtrack to that first kind of big like all tunnel uh, since that's the kind of like nexus for the aqueducts we are going to once again take our mech swimming Dodge these little bombs and the little snaky crawler dudes. I do love, like, this game has two of my favorite types of tricks in speedrunning, which is anything involving, like, abusing save states, like, <laughs> saving during an action, and abusing the death planes by just, like, getting out of things. <laughs> like, those are awesome tricks. <laughs> yeah. So, yep, we're gonna come up here. There's another cassette right up here that we're gonna um, unlock. And we're gonna kill everything in there so that we can go up after we grab the cassette. And now we are headed up to another one of the conveyor belt. Uh, this is technically the first one that the game expects you to get, but. Like I said, we, we go out of order because we can. Okay, well that was rude. Geometry being rude to me now. The frogs were nice, so the pixels have to be rude. Uh, so, fun little thing you'll see throughout this section is the, the little octopus squid things. Uh, because they're like swimming, whenever they're in a room and the water isn't there anymore, they just kind of fall which is kind of fun to just watch them, like, just be like, what do I do now? They kind of, like, upside down turtle. <laughs> Let's see, right down here. They're like, how do I swim? <laughs> it's trying. It's trying real hard. So we are going to small mech one more time. Going to dodge that hole because you can soft lock if you are small mech. And now we're going to come back to that nexus and go down for the last of the three uh, conveyor belts after we grab a couple of other things. We're going to drop down here come this way, past some more frog friends. And grab a collectible. So anytime there's buttons like that, it can do one of two things. It either uh, unlocks the elevator for you or it gives you lots of dialogue. If it's next to one of those computers like that, it does dialogue. So we skip those buttons. And now we're gonna hop around over here. So you can kind of see the water down there is still around because we haven't hit all three of the switches. Just gonna climb around here, grab us another little collectible. be on our merry way.
So right here, uh, you're because you don't have double jump yet, you're supposed to come up here as the cat and use that conveyor belt to move the like little witchy thing, uh, conveyor, I don't know what to call it, the platform <laughs> uh, over with your mech so that you can have your mech over here. But because we already have double jump, we can just fudge our way across. And then this jump can be a little tricky. Yeah, okay. That was... There we go. So th those blocks are in just the wrong spot, so you have to, like, be careful getting up around them. Uh, so right here is, like, a little mini boss thing that obviously doesn't activate because we were small mech. Uh, we are going to get out of the the mech and back in because we are going to activate it after we kill it because otherwise when we come back through after uh, activating the conveyor belt then we will have to fight it and we don't like to fight things when they can fight back because we're kitties this is the last of the conveyor belts here in the aqueducts so now we get back in our mech and we're gonna grab small mech one more time and finish clearing out everything in here before we head to the heater core. Now we get to come right back the way we came. And then because we have small mech, uh, not here, the next room, we can just kind of like super skip some stuff. It's right here, we can just kind of swoop down like that. We climb out of here, and that is the last we will see of this area. And now we've got a couple more collectibles that we're going to go grab after we take our little elevator here up before we head to the heater core. We're gonna come down here, which you should have to do as the cat, but because we have small mech, we can just zoom. Sorry, little friend, you were in the wrong spot. And now we're gonna do another. Couldn't do anything. I know. We're gonna do another. There we go. We'll jump. Uh, so in here, we actually can't kill two of the enemies that we need to without activating them. So we're gonna kill the ones that we can, and then we're gonna hop out and start the room so that we can kill these guys. Well, that was rude. Come here, friend. Thank you. And we've got one more uh, little, I think it's a cartridge, the, like cassette tapes up here that we're gonna grab. And the fun thing about the cartridges, too, is you can kind of see what color they should be as you get them. Now we're in small mech again so that we can do some shenanigans in the heater core. Uh, so chat is asking about the max missile count. Uh, so that's 
right now, it's two if I fire quickly, but that's what the kind of like thing on the left is, the, the bar that goes up and down. Um, if you hit the the max of the bar, it takes a little bit longer to cool down than if you just let it uh, cool down without doing that. So you basically always have missiles as long as that bar isn't hard stuck at the top. So we're gonna come through here. Okay, I'm just gonna damage boost through that one. Normally you can get through without hitting, but I was a little slow in that room. So in here you can see like the game's got the like heat lines. Uh, that means that we actually can't get out of the mech as it's too hot for the cat. So uh, we are stuck in the mech until we take care of that. Which you're supposed to do a whole bunch of other stuff. But because we're small mech, we can skip and basically go the back way into the room to cool off this area. And kind of zoom through some of these rooms. Uh, here coming up in a second is a room that we have to fight the enemies. But until then, we just skip right past all of them because fighting things is slow. There we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and heal just so that I have it. I'm pretty sure I'm about to get a thing, so I didn't need to, but Brain said I took a lot of damage heal, so yeah. So this is the coolant module, uh, which is a an upgrade for our missiles. So now we can fire three before we are stuck. And we are gonna use our newfound power to destroy all these little glass things. And now the area is cool. So, uh, this is the boss of the heater core, and we just skip right past him. Uh, so we're going to be kind of careful coming down here, because we need to be able to climb back up later. And that's easier to do if we haven't blown everything to smithereens. Come grab the health thing and climb back up. All right, drill bots, please. And this time, because we came in the correct stream, we're gonna be slow, but because the things are already cooled off, the game is just like, wait, I guess you beat it? I don't know. The game really does not understand how to handle small mech. So now we're gonna come over here and this should be another like, Technically, a uh, mini boss, I think. But because we're small mech, we just skip right past it and we come up here and grab another cartridge. And now we're going to see if I can do get this jump. That's not. I'm slightly off on the timing there. There we go. So that, that jump kind of finagles with the fact that we have the three, only three missiles instead of four. The, the timing's pretty precise on it. And now we are jumping back through this section so that we can clean up the rest of heater core. Uh, if this were any percent, you would already be on your way out of here. I think one of my favorite things about this game is I was watching one of the the runs from the world record holder doing, I think he was doing any percent. Um, and he's just like, you know what the difference between any and 100% is in this game? There's more of it. 
like you use all the same techniques and movement and stuff like that in any percent that you use in hundred percent you just do it more and i which is that. awesome yeah yeah you don't have to learn anything new you just get to do the same things you've already practiced and learned which is awesome yep also the game's cute as heck right Oh, right. Uh, so I also got a second ago while I was talking about that. I got the uh, the dash ability. So now we can dash through things. And while we are dashing, we are immune. So we, we get some iframes from that. It's also just a really fast right to left movement. So we're going to use the dash as much as we can. It's got a little bit of a cooldown, which you can see uh, the bottom left where it's got that R button. Uh, when that's full, you can't dash, so. Sorry, when it's empty. <laughs> and there's a couple more things that we're gonna grab here in the heater core. We're almost done with this section of the game. So all of the sections that had been hot lava earlier, we cooled off, so now they're stone and we have to blast them. But that also means that there's places that we can get that we couldn't before. So. And now we're out of here. So the next area uh, is the vent. And this is another section that you're supposed to do as the cat. But like I mentioned, the cat is dangerous and the cat is slow. So we have small mech, which means we can do a lot of it as the mech. So you're supposed to blow that up and then come down here as a cat so that you can climb up here. So we can boost up and hit that button so that we can go down into the Thank you, Lua282. I, yes, you can't dash when it is full black. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna maneuver over here. This is technically, the once again, the back way in. Uh, so we are actually gonna have to fight this boss, but because we have our mech, this boss is pretty simple. So we're gonna mash through some text, uh, being careful not to eject because then we lose small mech, and that's no good. You're supposed to get in the little uh, cannons on the left there and shoot this little mouse friend who is uh, an enemy scientist or something who, he's the one who put out the distress signal that the reason we came to this planet. So. And then he just tries to stop us the whole time because reasons. So now we have turned on the vents, which is what we have to do. So if you were playing any percent, that would be it. You would be on your way to the final boss. Okay. Come on. There we go. Use these little vents and some creative use of missiles to get back up here. And then we are going to oops, come right down here and go down to grab a whole bunch of collectibles. Uh, so right here, we're being chased by the mouse. It's a fairly dangerous section. Normally, Thankfully, we get to skip some of the worst of it, but there's still a couple of spots where we have to lose the mech, so. We just kind of zip around here, and then we get to the water section, and we say bye to our mech for a little bit. Dodge some bombs.
This section is the worst because there's that fish and there's the bomb blocking the way. So you have to set the bomb off and hope the fish doesn't try to kill you. Okay, cool. Fish stopped in a good spot. So now it's just kind of climbing these walls to get out of this room. And we are out of the semi-auto scroller. So we're going to come down here. Going to get us another small mech. and grab uh this is the big shot so this means our normal uh attack just does more damage it also goes slightly further so now because we are small mech we can climb back up here but we can't get all the way up because that's too big of a jump so we do have to come be kitty for a little bit We'll come get our mech back and go through some, some little fan rooms that are kind of annoying. So this one we have to kill everything. This next one we thankfully don't, but also these guys are annoying, so I'm gonna kind of shoot some of them. Come across here, got another fan room. We have to kill everything. If you time that first one right, you can actually kill like three or four of the, the guys up top, but. And now we've got another cartridge and that is our soft gray cartridge, which is painful, but also cool looking because it's gray. And now we're gonna come back through here, back to that save point where we got the mech and small mech again. That way we don't have to deal with any of those bombs or these little like armadillos as the cat. And now we are mostly, we're, we're almost done with events. Uh, we have two more things to grab. We've got the one over here. We gotta kind of blast our way to. And then there's actually a cartridge to the left of the auto scroller room. So we have to go back down there. You, you can't get it until after you do the auto scroller though. So. So this is the section where like you should have been coming as the cat trying to dodge a bunch of painful friends. And so we just kind of blow them up and run past them. Cause mech don't care. Drop right back down here. Now we can go left to this cartridge. And then come over here and there's a fan that puts us back up top. So we thankfully don't have to go all the way through all of the other rooms again. And that is Vents. So right now I've got 14 health and I should have 12 cartridges if I did everything correct. Uh, we're about to go grab a, another health and another cartridge. And then we're going to go get the decoder, which has another like fun little skip. But we come up here, blow some stuff up. Um, oh, that's, oh. that's a new one. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> well then, let's let's redo that. The um oh, this actually could be interesting. I might have might have to go grab a different seat. I do. 
Okay. Give me just a second to grab my my backup saves. <laughs> Thank, I was... Thank God for backup saves. Yeah. <laughs> Because I was definitely, I have never actually soft locked there. So, where? Sorry about this, y'all. Let me just. I, that was an interesting soft lock there. That was. <laughs> yeah, it was like I was like in the wall. Like, what? What is happening? Yeah, like I don't. Like, I don't even know what happened. Like, I mean, obviously I can see what happened, but it's yeah. like my, my brain's trying to figure out what the game like thought was happening, and I just can't figure it out. Yup. Oh, wait, I actually just realized the way I can save this. Because I was looking at my saves, and my safety saves aren't very helpful. But I can get back down to the vents and save this. I think. I hope. I believe. Nope, that does not work because... Okay, it did let me out. That's good. That's what I wanted. It wasn't letting me out at first, so... I want to come do a save down here and then loop back around and see if it will let me get back out. gonna see if it moves my mech for me or if it leaves my mech down there. I think it's about to leave my mech down there, which is not fun. Don't oh, know it moved. That is not a useful spot for my mech. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to redo a section of this. So that's unfortunate. Yeah. Give me just oh, wow. a second. I will be right back. We got some pup time going on. Puppo. Peeking around the corner. All right. I think this puts us... Okay, I grabbed the wrong one. So we're going to get to see the boss fight. The proper way. So yeah, so he's got the, the little wall of blocking that we have to, like, destroy before we can kill him. Okay, he's gonna kill me. That was very rude of him. I forgot you have to swap sides. It's been a little bit since I've had to do this boss. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> who does bosses the normal way after he starts speedrunning, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> you mean intended stats? Who does that? <laughs> I, I definitely have my speed games where it's like, I what's the intended? I don't know. It's gonna come over here. Okay, that was super rude. Could you not so that I can? So yeah, so he he does damage to the the cannons on you, so you have to like avoid his attacks because 
Why would we make bosses easy? Yeah, this looks like a real thing. <laughs> it's, it's one of the last bosses in the game, so it kind of doesn't surprise me that it's difficult, but... That's fair, yeah. Oh, that was not the right direction to run. So yeah, so as you can see, the cat only has one health, which is why we like the mech. Oh, that was rude. I didn't realize that would kick me out so early. That was... Oh my god, please? Can you let me access a thing for a second? Mr. Mouse. Mr. I think his name's Gary. I think I thought Gary in the text, yeah. If you could just let me shoot my bombs at you... ...so that we could get back to collecting things, that would be great. I'm kind of confused about these turrets. Like, they don't move at all. I don't understand what functional purpose turrets that don't move serve. Right? I... They're not good defense turrets. Like, no. there we go. Okay. Okay, now we can get out of, no, get out of the turret, please. Don't jump back in. Okay. Just gonna, yep. So we'll also get to see the, the chase scene the intended way. Thankfully, because we're the cat, we can just like super climb up the, the wall here. Don't have to do any finagling. That slide so animation is really stupid. <laughs> Wait, do I? Now I'm confused about where that I thought the save was. Well, we're gonna come back over here because I know I can get small mech over here. And small mech puts us back on our way, I think. So those driller bots do that. So that's the, you have to like wait for him normally, but you're also like trying not to get killed by Gary who is chasing you with a giant masher thing. So we're just gonna take our, our leisurely stroll here through the bombs. As you do. As you do. Apparently we can't go back that way. I am learning all kinds of things about this game today. <laughs> oh. Well, let me go see how many. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I do have 12 oops, things, which is what I expected, so maybe the safety save just has my 
my mech at the top. I have so many saves and I don't remember. Like, I named them, but apparently not useful enough. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, okay. This is where the mech is supposed to be if you were playing the game the intended route. So, this room you're uh, supposed to be able to do without having to fight basically anything because you come in as small mech and uh, nothing actually like visibly spawns, but you can still shoot them. Since we do not have small neck, we had to fight them, which isn't too bad. Uh, I am actually going to go a little bit out of my way to get small neck because this next section is super dangerous without small neck. And I haven't practiced it without small neck in a very long time, so... Now that we have small mech again, we are going to go back to where we just were. And we're going to come up to this secret little area up here that you're supposed to go into as the cat. But it's also got lots of enemies and cat, so... And that is the second to last cassette. So now we're going to come go do the, the early decoder. So uh, you're supposed to hit that switch and talk to the little robot dude who's kind of been guiding you if you don't know where you're going um, and find out that you need to like decode what he's saying to get the password to go down into the next like the last area of the game. But because we know where the decoder is and we know the physics of this game. We can get it early without having to listen to all that dialogue. So we're gonna come back up here. And right here, we're gonna do a neutral jump. So we're not holding any directions. And then we just fire the bombs or the missiles and it lets us up into the ship. And we jump back down. And now we get to go tell the robot, the password. <laughs> Take a nice long elevator because what Metroidvania would be a Metroidvania without an elevator? I mean, I'd be okay without long elevators. <laughs> Just you know, throw that I, I actually, out there. yeah. Uh, so the password is meow, but we have to have the decoder to tell it that. Um, we hit the switch to activate this elevator, and now we're gonna come down and we're gonna grab the last cassette, uh, and then we have to go back up because cassettes not only give you pallets, they also, uh, if you talk to a frog friend, they will also give us some upgrades that we have to get, since this is 100%. So, now we have the last cartridge. We come back down here. And we're gonna go visit our frog friend. Uh, Chow for Zombies is asking, would you prefer long elevators or long ladders? Definitely long elevators. Because long ladders, I'm probably having to do work. 
easy yeah, for the like, elevator. Like, at least you get a chance to sit. <laughs> yeah, like, you can put the controller down or step away from the keyboard. Yeah. Why did I just say I had 13? Didn't I just count 12? Uh, you did. Okay, well, that's fun. <laughs> Aww. Okay, so we're gonna... We're gonna small mech again, and we're gonna go back into vents. I think I know where it is, but I'm not 100% certain. Because we can't get the, uh, the final health boost without the final upgrade from the cassettes. That's not... Elevators would let you hydrate, but I am... I I take drinks of water at terribly in, inappropriate times in video games. Oh, I, I do too. Yeah, I, I'll just reach over in the middle of something and take a drink. I got time, probably. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder to hydrate. <laughs> no, that looks like I have all of the vent ones. But we're gonna come... This one, okay. And I got this one. Oh, I'm small mech. Maybe I didn't get this one. Uh, I'm gonna get out of the mech so that I can actually see my enemies in here. Cool, it was just the one I was missing. <laughs> Those flyers are being rude today. Okay, there we go. I apparently just can't count, so. Now we have all the cassettes, uh, we are going to Make our way back out of here and back to our frog friend to get the upgraded dash. So, currently, uh, I need small mic to get back out of here. Um, so, currently, I can only dash like not very often, especially when I'm in air. The upgraded dash lets us, uh, there we go. Lets us dash again after every spin jump. And then we can spin jump again every, after every dash. So it's kind of a little bit of an upgrade to both.
And thankfully, this is super close to where the frog is, so it won't take us too much longer to get back to where we expect it to be. All right. There we go. So now we have a stronger attack and the the hopper module, which, like I said, lets us uh, dash and then jump and then dash and jump, which lets us get to the last uh, health cartridge here in just a second. So now we get to come back down to the incubator, and we are almost to the point where there's no more backtracking. Oops. So this is just a super tall room. That's only purpose is to teach you how to use the hopper module on your way to getting the last health cartridge. So now we have the maximum amount of health and we are just going to go run through some hallways, kill some enemies and for the final boss. This is another spot where we have to activate everything because we can't kill everything without activating it all. Uh, but we're going to kill everything that we can before we activate it. Those two. This guy. Somewhere right in here, there's another little flyer that I missed, but yep, there he is. And then we're gonna come over here, and there's a little drill bot. And so they are immune until they run into something. So you have to let them do their thing. I'm gonna grab small mech again. Because it makes it the next section easier. We can actually do it in big mech, but it's much easier with small mech. And cute. Yeah, and cute. We're here for the cute tonight, so. <laughs> and the cute sad dog. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be the last time we do our underwater mech. We can... There we go. Let it bounce off of things and come down here. This is another spot you're supposed to dangerously swim through and... Who likes danger when we can just small mech and underwater mech? Supposed to use a bunch of like platforms and stuff to get your mech over here. <laughs> and now we have the turrets. We were supposed to learn how they work here instead of at the, the boss, but you know, they work. 
a conveyor to move a, a platform out of the way. And now we have our, our mech. We can just jump right out of here. And this is, uh, as it is telling us, the point of no return. This is the elevator of Doom. I hate it. Uh, we basically fight a bunch of enemies and avoid little bombs. Uh, if you if you kill them fast enough, you can actually like skip a cycle of the elevator. But I have not gotten to that point yet. Especially because these frogs are rude. I'm so bad at about shooting between them. We do got some cool jams though, so. shoot them twice we know they always pop up in the center and we can shoot through the frogs now we got some little friends that show up on the sides there to shoot across and be rude And now we just gotta wait until it gets down to the bottom. And we are gonna grab small mech for one final time. It makes a lot of these enemies easier as we... Come on, there we go. Sip through some sections. So, a lot of these enemies you can only attack at specific times. So we have to kind of time it correct. There we go. Now that you're dead. Sit through here. I'm gonna grab health because I hate the enemies in the next room. The enemy, I guess, is more. So because we're small mech, we can actually just sit here right in front of him and mostly not take damage. Unless he moves too close to us. Cool. Come on. Thank you. There we go. Let's get through some stampers. This is another room that we have to kill everything. There we go. So we're going to get this guy close enough to this little block that we can just stand here and fight. Okay, his friend brought back up. That's right. There we go.
pull up some stuff, zip across a, another little area, fight some more dudes. They have so much health, too. Grab the safe spot, because we are at the final boss. And this is another spot we can actually soft lock, because we are... Okay, that was not intended. Uh, so basically, we're doing damage to the boss right now before it activates. And I think I'm going to just go ahead and call that good enough. Uh, you can actually get it so that you only have one hit left on the boss, but I lost count because I got kicked out of it. So we're just going to we're gonna see a little bit of this boss. I think he's probably got about half health. So Gary just took over our, like, owner's body, which is pretty rude of him. And, and now he's going to keep trying to kill us. Okay, come on. There we go. So that was the second to last boss. And now we are on our way to the final, final boss. Have a little bit of traversal after this boss too, though. So, uh, uh, Gary intends to put his dog into the cat's body and escape from this, uh, this planet that way. But we don't let him. Oh, you were supposed to not do that. You come over here. Yep. So we are trying to get him move back that way somewhat, please. Okay. I just find it interesting there that a mouse has a pet dog. So the mouse used to be a human. Oh, okay. Don't put me in the, the mech. That's rude. Uh, so what I just did there is called Mech Escape. Uh, you're basically supposed to be in the mech during this section, and then the mech gets damaged and destroyed. But if you jump out of the mech right as the boss is dying, then in this last little section, we get to run as the mech. And mech fast. So, so dog gets mad because dog is like, what are you doing? Cat's cool. Uh, and beats up Gary. And then dog and cat run off. Once dog runs off screen, we get control back and we can hop in the mech. And now we have mech speed, which is fast. So we just zoom down here. Dog somehow beats us down here. Video game logic. And we zoom over here and time is coming up. Uh, right once the thing shoots off screen. So... Time. Wait, you didn't leave without the owner? <laughs> yeah. Yep, you, you and the dog just leave. <laughs> so this is the moment of truth. We see the 100% completion rate and uh, end game time is what's used for this run. So normally it would be important, but since we had that soft lock, the end game time doesn't match it. And yeah, that is Gato Roboto. That it's a lot of fun. A, yeah, that was a good thing. That looked incredibly fun and very cute. Yeah. Uh, Discord's not super active, but everybody in there is super great and nice. So feel free to join in uh, on speedrun.com. Uh, I've been Eliza. Thanks, Church, for having me. 
you guys can find me sometimes on twitch.tv slash Eliza, most of the time just hanging out with GDQ and the Fatals. So, thanks thank y'all, and I will see y'all later next. Thank, thank you so much for being on the show and, you know, showing off uh, both of these wonderful, incredibly fun, cute-looking games. Uh, it's been a blast. With that said, we do have one more game coming up, so we're going to take a quick break and then we'll be back with our final game of the day. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hotfix. This is Legally Cute. I remain not your regular host, Cutie Roo. And uh, we've got our last game of the night. We've got Here Comes Nico, and we've got a new runner in commentary, so I'll let them introduce themselves. All right. Hello, everyone. I'm Naomi, and I'm here with Christian. Christian, say hi. Hello, it's hi. me. Yeah, it is Christian. We love you. And uh, I, I think... I'm gonna do like whole introductions and whatnot as we get into the room because we have we have plenty of time for that. So I'm just gonna go ahead. Once I hit this button, I'm gonna do countdown for three to go. Once I hit the button, we're gonna start the timer. So let's count down together, Christian. Three, three, two, two one, one, go. go. <laughs> that was yeah, that was perfect. All right. Let's go! That was, that was very perfect and not delayed because of how we're communicating whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go. All right, let me actually explain the game. All right, so here comes Nico. It's a 3D puzzle platformer game by a company called Frog Vibes. They're a indie studio from the Netherlands. And uh, it was published by Gears for Breakfast, who you know for a hat in time. Now, the game is really centered around doing uh, tasks to get to the final level of the game. So you can do the final interview with your boss, Pepper, who we're going to see here. Hi, Pepper. And we'll never see him again. Um, to become a professional friend. Now, there's a couple different categories. There's any percent where you just want to get to the interview and get out. There's uh, employee of the month where you get, you, you become a professional friend, but then you become the best professional friend there ever was. And then in between those categories, there's 46 coin, which is difficult to explain, so I won't. And then there is 100%, which is what we're running today. I did make a major mistake because I was on any percent brain right now. That's okay. We'll uh, we'll get one of the last collectibles yeah. later in the game. That's okay. Um, so what we're going to be collecting is all of the coins, all of the tapes, all of the keys, all of the bottled messages, of which I totally did not forget there was one earlier. Uh, you know, yeah, your I'll mileage may vary. <laughs> you make note of it. Cool. And uh, yeah, so as I've been talking over the game, <laughs> we, you know, what I've just been doing was I just did the first tutorial quest of the game. We get a coin and then we are able to leave the level. Now, we're going to actually start the run, really. As in, you know, this is the first proper level. That's, that's what I like to call it. There's Herbal City. And the first thing we do is that instead of going to Herbal City, we're going to go over here. We're going to collect our first bottle. There we go. And these bottles are going to be very important for the run because there's a funny little trick where uh, they kind of just break the entire game for us. So fantastic to get those. And now we're going to play volley based on uh, regulations. That definitely, this is definitely how you play volley. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm like standing on the net. I'm sure it's like, I'm sure, I'm sure like that's allowed. I could go to, I could go to a volleyball tournament and do this, right? Hey, they're, yeah, they're counting the points. All right. So, you're going to be seeing a lot of these characters, a lot of these quests are going to be reoccurring, and Volley is one of them, except, you know, the, the Volleys just get different flavors, you'll see. And, and one of the other, like, common recurring quests we're going to go to now, which is the Little Gabby quest. And for Little Gabby, there's just these flower seeds that we need to pot and, uh, and, and grow. And we have to, you know, grow all of the flowers in all the pots available. And then we win. Um, I have to do that three times, so this is the first one. And they, they plant like a very specific pattern, so it, it's a bit complicated, but that's, don't worry too much about it. It's just dive into the pot and win. There we go. And I'm gonna do this coyote jump, if it allows me. Yeah, this is a very finicky bottle to grab. Yeah. And I'm gonna go here, and now we're gonna see the first instance of the bottle breaking everything. So we're stuck in the air, but not really. Because I can you open the bottom menu and then Nico just regains gravity. That and that's just one application of the bottle. <laughs> yeah, there, there's another one that, you, that we'll see later on in the run. 
Exactly. Okay, I do have to remind myself. So yep, get some apples. Yeah. Again, you're gonna see you're gonna see Naomi picking up a uh, a fair few different collectibles, each for different reasons. So you're gonna see her collecting yep. butterflies and tapes, which will come into their own at a you know, different point of the run. The butterflies, you will see why we collect those at the end of this level. And the tapes, you will figure out at a later time and will probably be brought up again when we start meeting more characters. Yeah. Incl including the butterflies, yeah, the butterflies Naomi's quote-unquote favorite. Yeah. It, it is! You can't just do that to me. I will okay. do what I want. All right, get them out of you. No, I'm kidding. No. Stay. <laughs> I need you. <laughs> All right. I failed as a professional friend. <laughs> All right. We're just collecting tapes now. And can we just say this game is hecking cute. It's so cute. I it love is, this it, game. it is a cute as heck platformer, one might say. Stealing the tagline from another game. Hand in time doesn't exist. I think Another you'll find cool, yeah. it does. Another cool thing about the bottle, by the way, is that if we have it open during collecting these collectibles for too long, we don't collect the collectibles and we soft lock. Which is cool. Uh, so, you know, taking calculated risks. That's uh, like how cool. <laughs> here's another reoccurring quest in the game. It's called Fishing. Fisher over here lost his hook, even though it's clearly on his hat. I mean, come on, what's that? And uh, he wants us to help by being the hook. Which, I don't know how this works, but we'll just allow it. And uh, we'll be seeing this a lot. And it never gets better. In fact, it only gets worse, honestly. So, you know, enjoy it while you can. Those words, I, I was thinking, I, did, I think I did figure out how this could possibly work. Nico is just the primal fisherman. Or fisher they, true, in this case. True. Reincarnated. Yep, fish a day. They can just pick fish out of the water, no problem. No, we need a spear to pick up a fish now. Just hands. <laughs> Spears are honestly overrated. All right, we're gonna exit the level. We're gonna go to Turbine Town now. Uh, in between each of these like level transitions, when we enter them for the first time, uh, we're gonna go back to the levels. There won't be these cutscenes, but normally there's like a cutscene. And in these cutscenes, Nico gets either a voicemail or a voice call. We just got a voice call from Sarah, our best friend. And uh, all you need to know about these voice calls is that we don't care about them. So we're just going to move on. <laughs> it's just, there's just text to mash through and now there's a cutscene. So enjoy it. All right, so turn right town. This is the first like long visit because this is the, one of the first times that we're going to go in and we're not going to see this level until like at the end of the run. These butterflies are not in my favor today. We need these butterflies. They are very important. They are very not in my favor today. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll just do some run safety. There you go. Got yeah, the butterflies one. have always been like one of my least favorite parts. Yeah, same. Uh, in the run, it's even worse because we were talking about this earlier, Christian. I was like, oh, the butterflies are fine. There's just like one level where it kind of sucks. And then it ended up being half the game that actually kind of sucked. Yeah. Like, oh wait, this level also kind of sucks. Never mind, this level also kind of sucks. And so we find just one butterflies that are never in the same place. Yep. Kind of annoying also, when you're trying to go fast. Yeah. What I just did with the Tory gates, I keep forgetting to explain. Gosh, there's so much of this game. We're already on volley. Okay. Uh, this is volley again, but this time we're in the air. We can dive over the net. It's cooler. This is my favorite volley in the game. Um, also, there's a different person who involved this time. Her name is Trixie, and we, and we love Trixie. Um, what we just did with the, the Tory gates is there's a wind dragon. There was no wind blowing, and the turbine was therefore, quote unquote, broken. So we fixed the turbine by turning on the wind, and we get a coin for it. That's how that works. Yep. We, we satisfied the wind god. Now yeah, to be fair, yeah, we kind of we kind of walk up to him and he goes like, "Hey, want to see a cool trick?" <laughs> and then we get... I've said no many times to that. Kind of sad. Okay, got that. Yeah, we're just uh, we're gonna do another little Gabby puzzle again. It's it's very fast this game, so little Gabby just kind of reoccurs throughout the levels. And uh, uh, normally I don't. Where's the shovel? Okay. No, no I don't mess this up. 
Be goodness. Okay. Oh, uh, the butterflies again are not in my favor today. I don't know what this is. Okay, butterflies, come on. No, that's the opposite way. Want to go this way? Thank you very much. Okay, apples important. Okay, so man, there's so much to explain in this game, huh? So mm. why we need the apples is that for 100% run to be valid, there is actually a. Um, a secret jump that we need to unlock and to unlock the secret jump we need 250 of these apples and we need to do a, su a super jump but, and a super jump to do it costs 10 apples so if i do map correctly that means we need 260 apples i actually struggled with that okay <laughs> now Speaking we're doing a very, a very <laughs> it's a very cool trick this is a trick that it, on paper is very easy but because of how easy it is it's very easy to mess it up but naomi is very cool and good at the video game so True. she gets a first try usually you're supposed to uh, run into the box that was at the bottom of that turbine and that creates a ladder all the way up but yeah. climbing ladders is just a little bit slow so yeah, uh, yeah so instead we just jump all the way up it the, the other thing that we didn't explain, by the way, that character was on top of the turbine. We never explained actually who they are. <laughs> and we spoke uh, to them twice. We spoke to them twice. There's so much going on in the game. So who that character was, that's Dustin. And Dustin, uh, their whole quirky thing is that they like to get to, you know, almost impossible to reach locations. And then once we meet them the first time, he's like, how did you get here? Who are you? You're now my rival. But here, have a coin for besting me. And we do that a couple times actually throughout the run, and he just gives us a coin. It's just a very easy and free coin. I think in any percent, we just get all of the Dustin coins because they're just so free. Yeah. All right. Uh, I, I was talking over this fishing because I this fishing is the worst. This this fishing I call anxiety fishing uh, because it has both the worst and the best hitboxes for these fish to hit. There's like a, a radius that you have to hit the fish in. And uh, for some of these, it's very tight, and for some of them, it's very liberal. So it's like, there's no in-between, and I hate it. Okay. Something okay, else that, that will also, I'll, I'll just do, it's a small thing, a quick explanation. You'll see Naomi going in straight lines a lot. And that's because when you're diving, it actually puts you over the normal, quote-unquote, speed cap of this game. Which also means that if you hold forward, it tries to put you back to the set speed. So it's actually faster to just keep diving, no hold any direction. Otherwise you will slow down. Exactly. So if I commit to a dive, I commit to a dive. Essentially. Yeah. For the max distance. Same for these soda cans, but the thing with these soda cans is uh, here it was actually beneficial to hold the direction because we can slow down a bit earlier. Yeah. Alright. Cool. That's a Pelly coin. And now we're gonna go to the vent over here, the vent container, while grabbing some apples, because we need those. And uh, we're gonna go to, uh, after this, we're gonna go to Blessly. And that's the character we've been collecting these bugs for. And she's kind of in every level. She just, I, I, I don't know, she's a fan of bugs. I forgot, let's see, yeah, what, what well, do you why want she, again? Why does she like bugs? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh. uh Okay. Uh, uh, we get a coin for it, so it's fine, probably. It's fine. Definitely, yeah, that's fine. That, that looks that looks okay to me. Yep. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. No, nothing to see here. I pretend I do not see. Alright, I'm gonna grab a key in this... Uh, that was cool. Uh, in this container. There's just a key in the back. And again, we have to collect all of these. We're not gonna use any of these, mostly. There's like only a couple of them we actually need. And yep. these are, both of these are none that I need. But it's 100%, we're gonna collect everything. Alright. I... Christian? Yep. I just bonked against the blocks that were loaded. Okay. Yep, sure, I yeah. Saw. You know what, we, we, we don't talk about... Here comes Nico moment. Hey, yeah, it's, right. an, it's a Nico moment. It's a Nico moment. Alright, next up, we're gonna go to Simon Creek Forest. Now... This is going to be a very short visit, because all we are going to collect are a key, two tapes, and a coin. And a number sheet. And this is the important part for this run. This is why this run is the way it is. Important. 
Yeah. So how this game works is there are more quests in each of the level than you initially can do. And the only way to unlock the other quests in the other levels is by collecting these phone sheets, these number sheets that I just collected there in this in the lake. Now, there's two of them in the game. One in the in the halfway point. The Hesemer Creek is officially the halfway point for the game. The other one is at the end of the game in, in Tapo HQ. Which means that um, we have to go back to the levels. We have to go to the final level of the game first, collect that number sheet, and then go back to all the levels again to wrap up the last quest that we have. Which is very impacting for the routing, because some of the quests that unlock are kind of... The, the routing is just unfortunate. Okay, I just remembered that I yep. need a bottle here. That's very yeah, important. I was, I was about to say, I was, about, I was just about to say, don't forget to yeah. get the AA bottle. Yeah, there's another bottle over here. We don't want to lose time. Here we go. Another bottle. Messing and now we're going to avoid out. Bottle. Base. Here we go. <laughs> All right, no we're gonna go to Herbal City, and we're just gonna be collecting a whole bunch of coins. Let's see. All right, so first, we're gonna vandalize, then we're gonna play an arcade game uh, at the same time, and then we're gonna meet the best character in the game. Allegedly. Because apparently Allegedly. The, the, opinions, the opinions are apparently divided, which is wrong, Christian. Naomi. Mai is the best character in the game. You can't deny. No, but, you, no, but D Dustin, how can you not? How can you not have a like the ultimate soft spot for your rival? Well, Dustin is not Mai. It's that you, easy. You, you actually, become... actually, Trigger Sarge, Trigger Sarge. I want your opinion on the Brothers character we're gonna arms. meet in a bit. I, I want your opinion. I want your opinion. All right, okay. we're gonna meet a character over here on this island. Her name is Mai. I need your thoughts. What do you think of mine? I can't read the style of it, so... Mai is... a... pretty okay person. Oh my god. Uh, pretty I okay? Like, you... I, look, I, I don't know what to go off of. <laughs> I, I, I just don't know what to say. I just... I, you didn't ask me how I felt about Dustin. Okay, how, how do you, you feel? feel about Dustin? How do you feel about Dustin? Dustin's a pretty okay person. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Neutral to a fault, one might say. Okay, get this. Uh, okay, now we're doing hamster ball, so let's see some roll emojis in chat. And nice. essentially, what we need to do is collect these 10 sunflower seeds. And uh, this sucks because the hamster ball is very hard to control. Oh, uh, come on. That was not enough. That was just not enough. Okay, we, we have the red umbrella. Yep. Alright, okay. Cool. cool. Uh, please. Okay. Uh, come on, hamster ball. That's another one. Three more. Let's go. Are we gonna get up? Are we gonna get up? The hamster ball, please. I it, beg it, of you. Infinitely spinning place. There we go. Two launch, more. launch, let's go. To the turbine. Grab, 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 grab. grab. Alright. Back. Back into the hamster ball. Yeah, you I see now I have to like reset and come back because that just is a very quick way of warping around. Exactly. Yeah, watch this. I missed the tree, never mind. I thought I was gonna do something cool. Alright, anyway, we're gonna now go back to Cemetery Forest. We're not going back to Turbot Town, as mentioned before. We won't be back to Turbot Town for a while. Because in Turbot Town, only like one quest unlocks for us, which is not worth it. Alright, this is the longest visit in the game, I believe. Uh, Cemetery Forest 2. Except, yeah. you know, uh, well, there's a reason for that. Yes, and, uh, there's a, a very good reason. <laughs> there's a very good reason for that. We're not gonna spoil it for now. But there's a very hard trick coming up. There's a very hard trick coming up. Yeah. Like, actually really hard so like you know we're gonna be you know it's it's i don't know I, what do we compare it to yeah, i don't like, know I like it's, it's like i know it's i know it's it's like it's like you know subframe perfect you know it's like in between the frames like in between Honestly. the right right frame it's like it might take yeah, yeah. a while to get it yeah i need like the perfect sub pixel twice in a row so like there's two frame perfect tricks back to back 
Yeah, it's very hard. Like, like half an A press as well. That's the part I've always struggled with when <laughs> trying to do this. Yeah, th this is why no one runs this category. It's just the half A press, it's just too difficult. Too half, difficult. half, half an A press twice in a row. Like God. Some might I, say I, that's a full A press, but it's not. No, it's, it's very, it is very different, you know, because like, the game reads good. it differently. And it's what, it is what allows it, and it's a, uh, what allows us to do this. A, uh, okay. This trick. Before we do that, though, yeah. Before we do that, though, we're gonna be we're gonna do, uh, do a bit more painting. A bit more painting. Yeah. Okay, I just need to get on this wall. Nico, come on. All right, Nico, you want you want this. Come on, Nico. Yeah. Okay, Nico wanted it. Let's go. Let's go. All right. We, I'm going to be honest, we mentioned a lot of collectibles, and I have to be honest with you, chat, I haven't been honest. I lied about one of the collectibles, because I didn't mention it. There's one more collectible, and that's what this trick is for. It's a very hard trick. Watch this, we're going to yeah. set up. Okay, watch this, chat, watch this. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, you're going to get it. Okay, so you're basically, gonna now I'm just going to let you know when we get this. We might be here for a while, it's really, really tricky. Yep. So, we'll let, so we'll let you know. Like exactly. said, two, two gonna, half eight presses in a row. Yeah, I'm gonna explain exactly what we're doing. It, it's a very complicated technical explanation. We have time for it. Here we go. So, in here comes Nico. We already mentioned there's coins, there's tapes, there's keys, there's bottles that we all have to collect for 100% completion. There's one more thing in this game that we need to complete as well for 100% completion. During the game, whenever we sit in a cozy spot, Nico will sit down, and a Tamagotchi will pull up with a snail on it. Now the snail, we can feed the snail, we need to you know, clean up after the snail, we can play baseball with the snail, but we can also buy costumes for the snail, and we need those costumes. The problem is that those costumes, they are tied to a um, walk counter. And how here, because Nico hands, handles walking, is very specific sounds counts as a step. And for each step you get, one snail currency, one money, one, you know, one dollar essentially, right? And we need over thirty-six thousand dollars. Now, how we originally did this was I grabbed the control at the end of the run and let Nico run, uh, walk in circles for the next hour and a half. And here, uh, we are it stuck at a quarter, generating as many cents as possible, so we can get the thirty-six thousand at the end of the run. In other words, we're going to be here in this corner, diving, jumping, and doing whatever we can to grind snails for the next 30 minutes. So, <laughs> does anyone have a topic that they want to discuss? Uh, I, I, have, I, I, have, I, have a, I have a topic. I have a very good topic. Oh, okay. I could go for it. Go for it. Are blueberries blue or purple? They're purple. That's why you are incorrect. They are blue. What do you mean? No, they're purple. They're blue. There's one correct answer to this question. They're purple. They're not yes, blue. Yes, there's if one correct answer. There's, there's, no, there's no naturally occurring food that's blue. Ex See, there's no, occur there's no naturally occurring food that's blue, except for the blueberry. No, it's blue in the name. No. If you make blueberry muffins, they turn purple because blueberries are purple. They're not no, no, blue. No, they, tu they turn a nice midnight blue. It's a very pretty color. You're wrong. <laughs> That's just not right. You're, you're kidding, right? You're kidding, right? You're actually kidding, right? No, no, no. They're no. purple. And also, with how good blueberries are, they're going to be the best color. And the best color is blue. But okay, can you quickly check the time? Because I forgot to take note. Uh, the time is currently... It says 22.20 on the clock, and it is 34 minutes past the hour. If you're going off real time. <laughs> okay, thank you for the clock update. <laughs> That's what I needed. <laughs> okay, uh, I think I have another 10 minutes to go. Let me know when we hit 32. 32. Anyway, okay, back yeah. to how wrong you are. What color of blueberries? That's a frog. That is a frog. It is true. That is a frog. Also, I think you'll find when it, com when it comes to the poll currently, if it's not a frog, blueberries are blue. No, they're not. They're, they're purple. Twitch chat is wrong. Only, hey, brave are you? only brave statements made on this channel here, honestly. 
Are you are you doubt Twitch chat? The, the audacity. Do you know what these people uh, okay, well, do to for be us? Okay, to be to be fair, I, I shouldn't because I, I'm making them watch this for the next 13 minutes. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, chat, really fun thing. Uh, forgot to mention. <laughs> The reason why the estimate is 140 is uh, I uh, I can soft lock here. And that means if I you oh. know, and when I soft lock here, I have to restart the game, which is fine. The problem is how the game saves data is only after you get a coin it will save it, which means we have to redo this for the next 30 minutes again. So you know. We were kind of half joking when we say it's kind of pixel perfect because it is actually kind of pixel perfect where I'm standing in this tin because it, it, you know, it, it can it can go horribly wrong. Yeah, you don't want to get stuck. You do not want to get stuck. Like at all. Like how you're stuck on saying the blueberries are purple and they're obviously blue. Okay, they, they are purple. Church is fucked. Please back me up. <laughs> blueberries are purple. Okay, all right, glad. Okay, See, got, now, got now someone two in my camp of here. <laughs> now there's two why, of them. Why would something so delicious be not the best color? Are they delicious? I never had blueberries. I, I don't like blueberries. You've never so had a blueberry and you dare to hold an opinion on their color? Yes. I, I don't think you've eaten one to know that it's purple. Oh, okay, you know what? Fair point, fair point. I, you know, I have an expert in my corner, they're called Tricky Sarge, and they, they know, they know. It's okay. Like, I don't I'm... get it, I don't get it, like... You know, you know what, it's Blueberries fine. are purple, and, and, and chocolate ice cream, it's not even the best flavor, like, I, I don't get it. Okay, no, chocolate ice cream is the best flavor. No, it's not. Are we gonna, are uh... we gonna, have, are we gonna have another problem? <laughs> I don't think I'm winning anyone with this are, one. Are, are, are we talking? Are we talking like just regular flavors, or like is mint chocolate chip included? Mint, any flavors included, and chocolate is not winning by by a mile. Also, we we, we now have a, a verdict on what color are the blueberries, and the All answer, right. according to Trocha, is that's a frog. <laughs> okay, well, I, I mean, I love that color. I mean, I mean, Twitch, Twitch is right. That Twitch is right. Uh, they're right. They're right. I'm sorry, Twitch. You're right. What time are we at? Because I had to get We're at 25. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we have to find the top for the next seven minutes. Uh. So. Pineapple on pizza. <laughs> I'm <You're laughs> getting a little bit hungry. hungry. Today. To it's going to be food. To be fair, like pizza-wise, I kind of just eat cheese pizza. I don't like any toppings on my pizza personally. Understandable. Cheese pizza is very nice. That's not a good sound. Okay, we're, we have to restart. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, you're free. Oh, okay. 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 All right. Okay. Okay, my answer would have been other posting chat because hazelnut. Y'all sleeping on hazelnut. Hazelnut ice cream? Yeah, hazelnut is so good. Uh, it's so good. I love it. Sleeping uh, here, honestly. Uh, See, the issue for me is I don't like nuts. But do so you like I hazels? No, there are nuts. <laughs> That's kind of nuts, if you ask me. Yeah. <laughs> we are really, we're really stretching the content here, honestly. <laughs> what do you mean? This is the good, honest content that people came for. That's true, that's true, that's true. I mean, is it really a hot fix if we don't get into an argument about food? That is very it, true. It, I have a better, I have a better. Is it, is it really a hot fix if there aren't any hot takes? True, that's There's what the hot stuff is. Specifically, hot for. takes for food. <laughs> specifically, food, Wait, yeah. Food. All of these have been food related. Hmm. I might, I, I keep, I keep coming up with them. I think I might be a bit hungry. I mean, it's only like, what, 1 30 a.m.? You can just quickly go to the McDonald's, right? And just, like, yeah, just like, just go. They, 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 they sell hazelnut ice cream, right? Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> 
That's like not sponsored. <laughs> if they sell hazelnut ice cream, I need better McDonald's around where I live. Oh my goodness. Do the ice cream machines actually work over there, to be fair? Uh, I don't know. McDonald's. <laughs> right, right. Because for me, this is the crazy thing. I've never went to a McDonald's and had the ice cream machine not working. Never had that issue. I... I don't think I've ever been to one in Canada where they've been broken. I have a hundred percent been to them in the United States where they weren't working. Oh, really? Oh, man, I'm gonna go to the U.S. in May because uh, there's a very cool event coming. I don't know if everyone's heard of it. It's called SGDQ. It's pretty, pretty cool. No, I don't yeah. think I've heard of that. Nah, I've yeah, never no, heard of that. that. It's summer games done quick, you know, it, it, it's streamed on the games oh, on is that, is that, is that, is that, is that like the, the, like the underground one? <laughs> this oh, yeah. would work better if I was the one talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's to, yeah, so I'm gonna go there and I'm actually very, I, 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 I'm very curious. Let, let me just put it out. Bits of you guys I'm... once before and I never went to McDonald's during that visit. I will say, and... I don't remember which GDQs it were, or it was, but there were a few GDQs where, like, there was some fast food places near the hotel, and, like, none of the drink machines work at all in any of them. Drink machine? Wait, you have to- you have to get your own drink? Uh, yes. Uh, so- That's a at thing? Least... Yes. What? Yes! So, in. Uh, they have really fancy ones in all of the places in America, question mark? At least the ones that I have been to. They've had, like, the really fancy machines. Uh, in Canada, they're not fancy. It's. Uh, it's just, like, uh, fountain machines out in the, like, the foyer or whatever. Uh, right. But in some of the ones that I've been to in the States, they have, like, these really high-tech machines that are just like it has like 40 different flavors in it and you can you can just pick whatever you want wow that's insane i am going to interject real quick to let you know that you have about 90 seconds of mashing left okay good i was about to ask uh are any final th what one for the ice cream flavor by the way a uh, cookies and cream one enough there fair you, you can't you can't be cookies and cream it is a very good flavor. It's let's a just very pray, good flavor. Let's just pray that you come away from this unsoft lot. Yeah, there were a couple times that I my heart dropped. We're gonna see in a couple seconds, honestly. It, it's it just sucks. Like it, we have to do this during the run, either in this visit of Seven, Seven Creek or later. I tend to do it here because right right next to the tent anyway. But the yeah. other one, you also pass the tent anyway. It's just the soft lock. You either get it or you don't, and there's no in between. Yeah. Alright, how are we doing? Uh, about out of the 30 seconds until we get there. We're at 31.30 now. 31.30. Alright. Uh, all right, so what we're going to do next is... Well, what we're going to do next after I'm done here... Give a couple more seconds. What we're going to do next after we're done here is we're going to take this character on my right. Her name is Melissa. And we're going to take her to the sacra, the sakura trees. Where uh, Stein, the other character, is gonna confess their love to them. Uh, uh, they're both they them pronouns. Yeah. yeah. Cool. They're both they them pronouns. This game is very non-binary. Pride. Uh, Nico is non-binary. Confirmed. Uh, Melissa is non-binary, and one of the developers of the game. Uh, Melissa is on my back currently. If you're wondering. Uh, and Stein, the other character that we're going up to, they're also non-binary, and they're also a developer of this game. There's a lot of characters in this in this game that are all like representatives of the developers. Ooh, I got the funny glitch. You got the funny boost. Yeah, no, what happened there is that I cancelled Melissa as, at the same time as I was talking to Stein, and uh, which means I have to go back to Melissa to grab a coin in a bit, which is okay. We'll, we'll grab that in a bit. It's an instant coin. Uh, it's not what you like to see, but hey, uh, I was just a little eager there. Because once I get the coin, that means we are officially safe. Yeah? Yo, yo, yo. There you go. Got the coin. 
Did I get the Nina coin? I did. Okay, Nina over there, the character that I just talked to, the one with the graffiti, that is also a character uh, that represents one of the, the developers. Fun story about Nina, though, is that it's one of the two representations of the developer. Uh, the developer, her na uh, their name, I, I, I almost messed up. Their name is Lisa, and uh, they're the lead artist for this game. Uh, and Nina is their persona. And uh, they have another character, which is called Burb, uh, later on, that, that you've, I'll, I'll, I'll show them off later. That, that's, that's their actual like, current persona, so like, they, they have two personas, essentially. Which I think is cool. The developers are super cool. Absolutely love them. Alright, that's a key. And now we're gonna do a skip called Hands of Proc Skip. And honestly, because it is legally cute, I'm gonna do something I've never done before. We gotta make the game English. Because, chat, I, uh, I, I this frog has a, a, a word for you. Yeah. Frog has a word for you. Frog has some, this, this frog right here has something to say. Yeah, this is a heartfelt message to you guys. Frogs are master jumpers, and you know what? You make my heart jump straight out of my chest. Okay, I, I just I just wanted to do that for y'all. Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, that's also explain why this is called the Handsome Frog Skip because we're we're skipping this rock wall near Handsome Frog. The naming schemes are very good. All right, grab the bottle here, and now we're gonna talk to my. Now the re what we're actually skipping here is we're skipping a key that we would normally have to use to unlock that wall on the other side of the island. Um, so it's just a bit faster, and I just, you know, I really like it. So there's, there's just a, so, like a small it. crack. We slip in between the cracks in the wall. Yeah, exactly. Like a sneak, now, the, sneak. Yeah, the thing is, right, because it's 100%, I technically could just open the wall, so it's a bit easier for me. I think that is faster. I'm going to actually implement it in the later runs. But I just like hands of frog skip, so can you blame me? Yeah, like, how can we just It's just frog? more fun. Exactly. Okay, I'm gonna go up here. We're gonna talk to Mitch now for another coin. And then we're gonna do another hamster ball after. So get your rolling emotes ready, chat. Rolling, Cause we got, rolling, we got, we got, rolling. we're gonna do some rolling, rolling, rolling. There we go. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna hit that. And we just, we're just gonna collect sunflower seeds. But this time, the, the, the trick to this hamster ball specifically, cause this level is very tall, essentially in verticality. Um, this hamster ball here tends to jump up pretty high and we don't want to actually jump as much as we can because that loses time because we have to fall down eventually as well and that just takes time. There we go, jump up. There's like very, very mapped out jumps that I want to do. I saw that I bonk and I can do nothing about that and that's okay. Yep, another reset warp to just make it easy than ham rather than having to go all the way around the island the hamster ball. You just boop. Yep. Make your way around. There we go. Uh, I jumped, unfortunately. Okay. I had to to save that though. Okay. Grab the last seed. And that's Moomy. The, the character's name is Moomy. I forgot, we forgot to mention that. It's Moomy. We got we got another hamster coin. Alright. Next up, we're gonna do another little Gabby puzzle, and this one, this one, this one, this one, uh, this one is tough. Let's see. Do that. Do that, man. So my brain, like your brain, oh, so difficult. Professor, uh, what did you know? Proud. Yeah, what did you know? At the top of the mountain is Dustin, of course. Oh, always, boy. always in the hard to reach places. Can I get rival. another seed? And go here. Now, I absolutely love this game. I'm gonna ex exclaim my love for this game. This game has been such a big part of my life, honestly. Like, I, I love everything about this game. I love running all the categories. I, I, I this game is fantastic. I met Christian uh, through this as well, and Christian's hey, a fantastic me. person, so. I, I try. Yeah. <laughs> a lot I of occasionally, other people. I occasionally fail, but in, in, I, yeah. I, I, hope, I like to think in general. True. I'm somewhat I, pleasant I, to be around. Now, the whole theme of this hotfix, I believe, is that we're showing off games that were run during Frost for Tiles, and this game was shown up during Frost for Tiles, different category, uh, but there was an incentive for that run that we unfortunately didn't meet. Uh, it was the blindfolded 
first level. So that first coin that we got in the game, I can do that blindfold. And I'm so sad that we didn't meet that. That 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 it's yeah. such it's such a I I love doing it. It's very hard though, but it's <laughs> yeah. I if, love showing if, it off. If it, would, so if it cool. was if it was a bit closer, I would have pushed it too. But like I could not afford yeah. to push it. I'm like oh. no. It's okay. <laughs> Right, we're gonna do the next volley. It's officially called Sports to Vol Volley, uh, but we called Obstacle Volley because there's you know there's obstacles back there that you have to navigate. I through. call it an, a pain volley because it causes me a lot of pain. Yeah, I, I, yeah, it's it's usually called the Run Ender for some people because you know if you fail the volley, it's just kind yeah, of you have to end your run. You, you, yeah, because for for how long. This is specifically for any percent, just and just because it's a very short run. Any percent yeah. is only twenty minutes long. Yeah. So exactly. losing twenty seconds to having to redo volley. Not ideal. Is a, is, yeah, very much not ideal. I have lost several, several runs to it. It's rite of passage, honestly. Like it, it's up there with losing time with uh, applesauce. Like it's rite of passage. Yeah, and we will explain what we mean by applesauce when we get there. We won't. Okay, we won't yeah, no, explain applesauce. applesauce. The but it, there's no applesauce? Yeah, but you super jump. Why you use applesauce when you can just super jump up? I, th I thought a, uh, I just thought positioning wise we used applesauce. That's my no. bad for misremembering which runs we're doing. There's so <laughs> many categories. I mean. There's only two categories where Applesauce is not done, which is 100% and uh, 46 coin. And 46 coin, the reason why Applesauce is not done there is because it's banned. The brothers were so fed up with Applesauce, they made a category where you don't do Applesauce. And the funniest part of that, right, is once you unlock... It's just a soda can at the end of the game, you have to unlock the 15 coins, which is why there's 46 coins you have to collect in total. Um, the funniest part is that that soda can repair animation takes longer than doing applesauce and getting up. So even, <laughs> even if you skip applesauce, it's still faster to do applesauce. It's so funny. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're actually wrapping up this part of the level now, which is thank goodness. Yeah, this is a very, very long. Very um, long part of the run. Mainly because of the mashing part, but even then there's yep. a lot of coins you have to go. Yep. A lot of tips we have to pick up. Do you get all the keys as well? Uh, remind me which ones they are. Uh, the keys. I, I do have the key. There's there's three keys in the level: bush, pond, yep, woodish, woodish. And I got all of them. I got all of them. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, bush is the stone frog key, right? Yep. 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 Okay. Yep. Nice. You got them all now. If I didn't get that one, I can get it on the Sun Creek because it could be passed through there. Uh, okay, yeah. uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, Christian is my... I, I actually made a document for this route, and Christian's actually checking the collectibles and checking them off. Because I there's no real way for me to keep track of these collectibles other than remembering them. And there's a lot of collectibles. It's like, yeah. almost like Banjo-Kazooie level of like things I have to keep track of. Which is... Oh, my goodness. You can also do a quick check through when you're select changing levels, as it tells you how many of each you have. Yeah, yeah. The, the only is, issue uh, being, if you miss one, it does not tell you what you missed. Yeah, so you exactly. need to check all locations. The uh, only thing we miss is the bottle to start so far. That's what yes. I remember. Yeah, that's the um, only thing you've missed. Yeah. So we can quickly cool. grab the bottle and then we can uh, uh, play some snail games. Now, for those who are very keen, if you just if you were really quick to see the giraffe station earlier, it does say that we have enough coins to actually leave this level. But we're not leaving this level because in this level there's two quests that are multi-step quests. I like to call them. Uh, one is Gamer Kit, which is a bit more common of a multi-step one. Gamer Kit, what Gamer Kit does is they give you a challenge. You have to do the challenge, and you have to go back to Gamer Kit to get the coin. Um, and in this level, it happens that Gamer Kid's challenge area starts at like the start of the of the level, 
So when we go back in the level later, that's kind of the ideal time to do the, 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 the challenge. The other one is the Poppy Quest. And the Poppy Quest is a, it is a quest where you have to go from one end of the map to the other, back to the one end of the map. Which is why generally uh, we have to kind of... Uh, we set set them up so then when we do the return of this level, we can wrap them up pretty quickly. Naomi is now going to do a very what is a very much community oh hated trick, but she has been on point today. Oh she my has goodness. not failed I... it once today, and this that this is the run killer. This this is Dust Hog, where usually you have to activate some uh, air fans to blow you up to get onto this roof to get to the dusting coin with a very precise jump where you get off the wall and use the coyote frames you have to yeah. bounce you off to get you into to give you not only the distance away from the wall but the yeah. height to get up top is and a lot tighter than you think the thing is the coyote frames also really weird because it's a right vector coyote frame why did yeah. i talk to mumi i didn't need to <laughs> <laughs> All right, because hamster we're ball talking. again. This is the last hamster ball chat. Where are the rolling emotes at? All right, here we we've, go. We've seen, we've seen some rolling emotes. Oh, uh, we, we, we got to keep it rolling, 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 chat. All right, I love this hamster ball. Oh, I forgot that key. Okay, yeah, all right. Luckily, luckily, can you pick the key up in the hamster ball? No, uh. but it's fine because we're gonna pass yeah. this uh, section in a bit anyway. Yeah, okay. That, that, so can get and the then there's one. Yeah. I knew I forgot something. And now we're gonna do the last three, which are up in this fan. Ooh, that was sketchy, but we'll take it. Here, here we go. Nice. Okay, that's one. We have two more to go. Alright. Go up here. Come on, Nico. Come on. The hands ball go. is now very fast. And one oh, more. The, the carpet. All right, the there we go. Got there it. There we go. All right, key. <laughs> All yeah, right. Quickly grab the key. Honestly, this is actually kind of, kind of good. This way of the key instead of what I normally do. Yeah. And then we're going to grab another key on the Tori gate here. Again, I have to remember all of these by heart. And it's, 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 it's very difficult sometimes. Yeah. Now you're doing a good job so far. I don't think you've missed anything. I don't say thing. Do you know? Yes. <laughs> that was the most hazardous yes I've heard. Alright, okay. So we're gonna talk to Paul now. Uh, so the Poppy quest, Mom, Mama Poppy, she's absolutely girl bossing. And Paul is a uh, stay at home dad. And he, he's watching the kids. And then he realized he, he lost one of them. And then we have to find the kid. Um. However, we're not going to find the kid in this visit. We're going to first talk to Game Kid and then exit the level. Because we did everything we needed to. Like that bug. Because the next level that we're going to go to is Tapple HQ. And that's where our last uh, number sheet is. Remember that from earlier. That number sheet is going to collect, uh, unlock all of the collectibles in the level. Uh, in all of the levels. So this means we can actually start wrapping up the run, as I like to call it. So we're going to go back through all of the levels one more time. And then all we need to do is snail and the last the, the last bot I forgot. And then uh then, then it would be end of the run, but it's still like quite a bit away. So, you know. Uh, there's and gonna be you, a, yeah, there's gonna the be a break coming up as well. Yeah, did you get the oh. tape behind Gabby then? Yes I did. Yeah. Okay. I did. It's uh Gabby's not there yet, but we we did. We did okay, get that that's probably that's probably why I like I don't remember seeing Gabby. Yeah, no, Gabby doesn't spawn until we... Ugh, this frog. These mm. frog statues are so hard to fly. <laughs> okay, got it. Trumpet frog, trumpet frog, okay. And now we're going to talk to King Frog. The assistant of King Frog is kind of overworked, so they're going to go on a vacation. There they go. There they flew. So and we're taking me. over as assistant. And King Frog is just... Talking. We're just having good vibes here. We're just talking. And then King Frog gives us a coin for our troubles. Mm, right, yes, I'm actually quite. gonna grab this dragonfly. And then there's one more tape hidden in these bushes here. And then we're gonna grab the number sheet that's on the bench. Right here. Or not. There we go. Here we go. And now all the quests are unlocked. So now what we have to do is we're gonna go back to all of the levels and get all the all of the last collectibles that we needed. Here we go. 
So yep, first up, Herald City. Go ahead. Yep, and this is another good point where once you've now finished the levels, a good point to just check through on these signs that will tell you, have you collected everything you need? Yeah, I, I'm very confident about Herald City too because yeah. I'm actually going to check that. Uh, here, up here. So we're going to talk to Gamer Kid. He's told us, can you jump from the top of the tower in the middle to the uh, to in just straight into some water? Yeah. And we've, and we've gone. Yes. Yes, we can. Here we go. That is Lewis and Sertial. So, how Lewis and Sertial works, this is the second time we've seen them, is Lewis is lost and wants to bring him back to his husband, Sertial. And that's all we do. But the thing with Lewis is, Lewis is quite old and uh, they have a bad back, so we are only allowed a certain couple of dives and uh, jumps when we have Lewis on our back. And we just have to not overextend. That's all we have to do. Uh, the next level, Turbot Time, we're also going to be doing Lewis and Sergio, but Lewis, we cannot do any jumps or dives. And you know, because of that, we're going to do a very cool strategy, which we call Elder Shuffle. But we'll get to that when we get to that. So let's get some more apples. My apple collection is actually kind of weak. I'm not going to lie, we're kind of behind. Uh, I would have needed 100 already at Bath House. So, pool is going to be very important to us. All right. Last collectible of this level, yep. which is just a tape in the sky. Nice kind of like one, Mario yes. 64 vibes. There we go. And we're going to leave. All right, Turbine Town. It's been a while since we've been here. Um, and we're going to be doing a lot of cool things. We need, we need five points, essentially, in one tape, and then we're done. Like, we already did most of Turbite Town in the first visit, so, like, that's why we're not going back. Because this arcade unlocks when you get the first number sheet, and that's it. So, like, we don't go back for that. No, I do not. Alright. There we go. Second Another really hard trick. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just deceptively difficult, is what I said. The but we did it. I love I, I love doing the little hop. Essentially, we just minimize the amount of uh, uh, jumps we do on the umbrella. That's that's all there is to it. Well, hello, Lewis. All right, this is Elder Shuffle time. All right. So if you're wondering why I was allowed to dive there, if we're over, if I'm already in a diving state, and you know, whatever velocity we're in, Lewis just you know jumps on. It doesn't count as a dive or a jump. <gasps> Oh, unfortunately. No. Okay, yeah. that sometimes happens. That's okay. So what we're doing is we're abusing Nico's slide mechanic to get onto the area where Lewis uh, Sertial is. There we go. Yeah, usually you would have to like have a bunch of switches with the uh, air vents. Yeah. No switch up there. No going up those. Yeah. It, when it you do this, saves, you just. Yeah, it saves fifty to twenty seconds. It's that's how important it is. Yeah. Whee! There we go. All right. Now this is the arcade. There's two types of arcades, by the way. Uh, forgot to mention that. There's two arcade types. There's the one where you have dog bones that you have to collect, and then you get a coin, and then it's just find the coin, and that one's just jump in the vent and get the coin. All right. So that bottle main that we mentioned earlier, that bottle that we mentioned, we can open it during the dance segment. I don't know how I got here. We can open it during the dance segment of uh, Mitch and Mai. And Nico's allowed to move again, because normally during those, we're not allowed to move at all. But this saves us a bit of time while they're dancing, because we still get to see the dance, so that's pretty cool. Hey. Camera angles were not great, though. Uh, you know what? I am actually going to be... Yeah, I yep. should have been confident. It's okay. All right. Okay. Salmon Creek. Salmon Creek, this is the most useless visit, honestly. This is where we get three coins, <laughs> and then we leave. Because we got everything else already. Yeah, this is also where we'll be taking the break after this as well. No, 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 we're taking the break after pool. Oh, after after pool, okay. Right? That's, no, 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 you're right, you're right. After this, we take a break. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Okay. You were, so you were is, right. This, I, should this is what you have me. I should not have doubted you. Okay. Anyway, uh, the Gaming Kit Challenge. We're not allowed to touch the ground, so we touch the ground because Gaming Kit respects the art of cheating. Or. More specifically, Game Kit does not consider us standing on the ground if we're diving. Because the game is programmed in a cool way. Alright, another arcade. If I can get into it. 
and we have to find the coin again. And there's, there's this whole puzzle with buttons that we have to do. Um, I, I like my solution where I, we just wall jump and we win. There you go. Easy. Easy. And then the last two things, so we have to go back to Game Kit to get the coin because that's how Game Kit works. And I'm actually gonna take some extra time here to. Yeah, get just get some more uh, apples. Did you always say pineapples? No. <laughs> yeah, well, what would ever, what would ever, what would ever give you that idea? Man, I'm sorry. <laughs> Must have heard something wrong there. Okay. Oh, give me the apples. Okay. Grab that. Okay, this is a lot better of a count. Yeah. I'd rather lose time than have no apples. Actually, you know what? We have plenty of time. We have plenty of time, yeah. so don't worry about it. I could even do a blindfold run after this if I wanted to. <laughs> I'm not, you know, okay. In hint, nudge, nudge. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Alright, game kit time. I love I love game kit. <laughs> high score, level game up. game, high score, high score, level up. <laughs> uh, I love game kit. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. And now we're gonna do Lewis and Herschel. Now Lewis got lost again in the secret forest of all things. I'm gonna do a cool thing where we dive while we pick up Lewis. Void out. And then at the apex of our oh, we cannot we cannot dive. Yeah, you, there's a there's a weird yeah. glitch when leaving there called what we call a double load, and yeah. if you get it, it means you will just instantly bonk as you're coming up out of the water, and because we're in the bonk state, you cannot dive. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I'm also not risking a dive there because I don't know if the bonk state actually affects that. Yeah. So unfortunate. We have to go through. The, if we didn't have that, we didn't have to go through the water, and I would have been a bit faster. But hey. Okay. I'm gonna go in the train, select the next level, and then we have a break. So everyone, get cozy, yeah. get your water, and uh, see you guys in a bit. Cozy time. So during these uh, longer runs, we like to take a break. Uh, so yeah, like they were saying, you know, get some water, anything like that. We'll be back in a few minutes with the rest of the run. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Games Done Quick Hot Fix. This is Legally Cute, and we are in the middle of our fourth run of the night of Here Comes Nico. I'll hand it right back over to the runner and commentary, and they can pick it over from here. Hello! Uh, we, we remembered what side of the Atlantic we're on during that break, which is awesome. All right. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> no context for that one. Let's, uh, I'm going to count on three to go, and then we're going to start this run again. And three, two, one, go! All right, here we go. All right, so public pool. This is essentially, we've collected nothing this level. We're going to collect everything that we can in this level. And the reason why is because, hey, all the quests that aren't spawned in, we have to like double back for it. So it's better for us to kind of just do it all in one visit. And the other cool thing is the public pool. It, unfortunately, it's also the level with most of our apple opportunities, like apple collection. So, you know, our apples are going to be very tight if we don't collect enough of the other levels. Which is, you know, it's just a bit of a balancing act. Another balancing act is the bugs of the level. The bugs in this level are the cicada bugs. And they stick to the wall. And if you get close to them, they fly away. And then we're very sad when you do that. So we have to be very quick about catching them. And we need 30 of them. And the cool thing about the cicadas is that they kind of stick to the wall. Uh, as in they don't move like all the other bugs. Which means we can route them out. Which is what I've done. So... It's a very tight routing as well, so, you know, and the other cool thing about this level, which is not cool, is uh, Pool Vault. There's a lot going on in Pool, honestly. Nice, that one nearly went over your head. These are the worst. Yep. These are, this is the worst one because of how slow you move in the water. Yeah, if you fall in the water, it's over, and how the, the thing is, she throws them so fast. So, so fast. Alright, gonna get some more tapes in the boxes over here. Yep. That's another one. Gonna grab some apples. Cause they're gonna be need those. And uh, gonna talk to Detective Frog over here because there's been a murder. Also, say hi to. Oh, hi 
Hi, kid. Cat kid. Oh, hi there. Oh, hi, oh, hi there. We love Cat kid. The cool, th this game has so many cameos. Like, there's actually a cameo for um, uh, a character from Demon Turf. Uh, her name is Beebs. She's a enemy in this game. Now, I, I know what you're thinking. Enemy? This doesn't look like a game with enemies in it. Well, you're wrong. And uh, there are enemies in this game. And we're going to see them very soon. First, let me get these cicadas, the true enemy of this level. All right, apples. That was the wrong direction to dive, Nico. Bonking on land, that that's awesome. Okay. Again, we're just grabbing cicadas. This one is a tough one. You want to hit it in the middle. Right there. Grab that one. Grab this tape. Don't hit the oh. Okay. And now we're gonna do some more Gabby puzzles. Did anyone miss our favorite character Gabby? I messed up the puzzle. That's okay. You know, we all make mistakes, just some more than others, and that, that's me. I, I make a lot of them. <laughs> You're probably wondering how I got here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, I went to the pool. Now, these puzzles are getting very cute, because you learn here that a seed gets blocked by, the, by another, like that. And it's actually very important. There you go, grab another cicada on this fence. And then we have more cicadas on the wall over here. Cicada on the AC, not AC, it's not an AC unit, it's a pump, I, it's a something for the pole. Grab that, put the blue seed in the corner, and go there. Grab these cicadas, and then it's time for the 2D section of the game. Now, what does 2D mean? It essentially means we're going to be in a part of the level where we're going to be forced in like a more of like a 2D platformer kind of uh, view. And I actually have to be very quick about this. I'm actually on a cycle here, so I'm going to be quiet a little bit. I'm going to grab a bottle over yep. here, which actually does mess up the timing, so I have to be quick. Now, Be Beep is going to be showing up here. There's Beeps. There she one is. Of the enemies. Hello, Beeps. Yeah. All right. That was very quick, but I had to do that for the cycle. I'm sorry. I would have yeah. showed her off, but I, I really had to do this for the cycle. There's so much joking we can do in a yeah. row. Now, you're probably wondering why I didn't get the umbrella cycle there. I needed the apples, essentially. All right. Now, hey, remember that soft lock we were talking about earlier? Want to see another one? Because I don't. You can actually get yourself soft lock here. Oh, okay, okay, all right. <laughs> We're fine. It's fine. We don't talk about it. It's okay. We're, we're on our way back. Men no. Mentioning it was the curse. Mentioning was the curse. Okay, so we did mention earlier that there was actually a, a a little crime that happened at the pool here today, and that crime is a, a murder of the pool floated here. We need to investigate it. And normally it's like an interaction where you have to you know, talk about the crime. Um, we could just walk in the crime scene that the quest progresses and we don't ask questions. We'll just... that That's how thats how crime scene investigation works. Yeah, it's like easy, right? Yeah, that, 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 that's how I remember it. Not that I've investigated or have been near crimes. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Alright, here we go. Go over here. Alright, so this arcade, there's actually water to kind of push me back, but we're such gamers that we don't have to care about it. And now we're gonna go back to the best character in the game. Because she is, because if, if you know, if Dustin was such a good character, then why is he not in this level? Just saying. Can we, hey, can we, can we pull this? Can we just say who the best character is in the game, Dustin or my? Can we pull that? The, the, view, the viewers have seen him by now. Let's see. All right, so we're gonna do some fishing. I mean, if, you know, if you know, if there's any time to kill with poles, this is the time to do it it's for fishing. Yeah. I, I, there's, there, I, I do have questions though. Like, how did the fish get here? Like, you know, that was just like a squid, right? Right? Yeah. How did, how did this, how did this alligator get in? That there's just a, is it an alligator, or crocodile? I'm not sure. One of the two. There's just, Crocodile. there's just a crocodile, alligator in here. There's a turtle in here, which is not supposed to be in here. Like, I'm, I'm starting to think the only crime was not just the full floaty at this if, point. If it, it feels like it's a very unsafe 
cool to be in. What do you mean? It's just a crocodile. Like, how it cannot get any worse. Like, what? Like, there's gonna be a shark in here? Yeah. Not, that's not possible. I I grabbed a carton of milk. You know what? That is yeah, really like, dangerous. Yeah, that, like, that's really dangerous. Yeah, yeah. Also, there is actually a, sh there is actually a shark in this pool. And, uh, you know, we don't talk about it. You know, the, this pool will be shut down if we mention it. All right, cool. Get another tape, and now we're gonna talk to Gabby. Because we actually, you know, we don't collect a coin until, you know, we actually come back here. Because it's slow, otherwise. Gabby, please talk to me. Thank you. Alright, and now we're going to solve a crime. I do want to say there's going to be flashing light, so flashing light warning right now. Yep. Ooh, I just noticed something as well. Yeah, there it I is. do not want That's to miss that. I was about to, as I was about to say. Okay, I'm, I'm flashing sure you light warnings when we talk to detectives. So, this is your last warning. It's going to happen now. Two flashing lights. Okay, all right, that was okay. it. Those are the that flashing lights. All right, you're all safe to go, chat. All right. Now, if you wonder who committed the crime of the pool floaty, it was the kid who owned the pool floaty themselves because they, they, they feel like they're too grown up to need a floaty to go in the kiddie pool. Which, hey, fair enough. I understand. Aww. Dr. Blessley. We have one more cassette to grab after this. Yep. And then that's the pool. Mm -hmm. ba -ba -ba and you did get everything. Yep. Of I, 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 I was a uh, paying close attention to this one because right. it's you know with just with how much there is you need to do. Yeah. So, yeah, so I was very much making sure I was playing cl paying close attention to that. Thank you very much, Christian. Very cool. All right, it's time for bathhouse. All right. So we mentioned earlier in bathhouse, we are essentially setting up two quests, and uh, we're gonna do the first one. Uh, game kit. We're not allowed to touch the snow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna touch the snow. Uh, again, same principle. We're in the diving state, so the game doesn't consider us standing on the snow. And this trick is officially called snow hopper because we're kind of just hopping in the snow, and I think it's a cute name. There's no name for it originally given, so I gave it Snow Hopper. Boom! Into right. the arcade. This is the worst arcade. Because remember that really hard trick that we talked about earlier with Dust Hog? We have to do it three times in a row. Let's go! That's one. Alright. Want to see that again? That's two. Want to see me do it again? That's Nailed free. It. <laughs> nice. There we go. <laughs> Alright. You make it look so easy. To be fair, these are easier, but don't, yeah. don't tell me. Don't tell me. Oh, 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 the a, I, if I were to make a bug tier list, the fireflies would be straight, straight to the bottom, the, even below the bottom. They're the worst, absolutely the worst. All right, bottle. And now we're gonna get uh, a Poppy's kit back to Paul. Um, yeah, I'm sure. It's, I'm sure. It, I'm like, I'm sure it's okay. It's like nothing. nothing yeah, I think that's probably okay, right? That should be over here. Let's see. There's a. There. Oh, they're just. Oh, they're just uh, here on this literal skull in the, in the water. All right. Okay, they're safe. He, it, right, it's right. fine. Like kids, kids are okay around like you no know, demons, right? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Uh, while we're going back, fun fact, I guess the kid's name is Skippy. I, I don't know. I thought it was a fun fact. You don't get to see the names because everything is in Japanese. I can't, I can't read Japanese that fast. I just run the game. Give me the butterfly. There we go. I call it a butterfly. It's a firefly. They're, they're the worst. Officially. There we go. Alright, we're gonna grab another tape that's in this tree. I said, we're gonna grab another tape that's in this tree. I said, we're gonna you grab said. another tape that's in this tree. <laughs> and then we're gonna do a really cool. Yeah, let's go. Alright. And now we're gonna talk to Mitch for another coin. It's almost as if these quests are reoccurring. And then after Mitch, we actually have a really hard trick. I do need to focus that trick as well. All right, here we go. No, five. Okay, there we go. I 
making fireflies. Okay, this is a very hard trick coming up. There's an arcade, but there's a very hard specific trick that I need to do. So I need, I need to focus. I need to be quiet, everyone. Okay. All okay, right, we're nice. good. We're good. Okay. All right. Another deceptively, okay. another deceptively difficult one, just because we're going around a death barrier there, but on either and there's a, there's like a small gap in the middle of it. But it's to a point where if you're slightly off one way or the other, yeah. then you'll you be, you'll be reset. reset. Yeah, you either get reset at the start of the level or you get thrown out of the arcade and there's no in between. Okay. Yeah. I was actually very scared for that trick. I'm very happy that worked. Yeah. Because I, I, I felt like I went off a little bit and then I corrected it and I was like, oh, wait, maybe I didn't go off a little bit. All right, last key of the level. Yeah. It's over here. Uh, apples. Okay, the thing is with apples, I don't actually know how many ha we have. Oh, because the counter kind of doesn't show up. Can I please get those? Okay, I need these fireflies. Okay. Yeah. Right, another fishing quest. Wow. These get more fun as we <laughs> do them. Spoiler I'm alert. They do not. I'm sure handling a proper fish is pretty dangerous. I mean... You know, they just have a hook on their hat, I'm just saying. I'm sure like handling also... an, an electric eel is dangerous. No, of course not. Angel fish is not dangerous either. I'd like to call this fish Dunsparce. Yeah, it does look a lot like Dunsparce. That's the official name. Even though I did say the official name of angel fish, that's, that's the official name. <laughs> Jellyfish, hey, another Christian. really safe thing to handle, yes? Uh, have you ever heard of the phrase, I can be your angle or your demon? Or whatever I, it's I called. I, I, ha I maybe have done why. Alright, I could be your angler fish or your <laughs> devil. <laughs> I could be your angler. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you're make Okay, when you're making my puns seem not that bad, you're doing something wrong. Naomi, yeah. please, be better. Oh, you want to see a fun pun? Axolotl bottle. Axolotl bottle. See, that's just a good pun, though. It rolls up that's so nicely. That's a good pun. There's a bottle near the axolotl, and it's called the axolotl bottle. Axolotl bottle, axolotl bottle. Axolotl hey. bottle. Ooh. You can never forget about the axolotl bottle. You have to see. You, you can't just say axolotl bottle. You have to bottle. say it in a, in a certain sense, you know, axolotl bottle, you know? Yeah, you mean, it's like, it's got such a nice flow to it. You have to go exactly. axolotl bottle. Uh, another cool thing now with the Gabby puzzle. So I can now place a pot myself. It's part of the quest. All right, we did the poppy quest. That's the coin. Uh, I need two more fireflies. All right. All right. And I have to just place them. There's like two solutions for this puzzle. And I have to go for this one. We cannot do blue. We have to do yellow first. And then we can do blue. Then I can do blue. There you go. Tragic, can... tragic, <laughs> tragedy okay. of struck. Tragedy. It's okay. It's okay. When you need to pop, but you missed your shot, it's tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chris. <laughs> all right. You're welcome. I'm here. I'm here all for the rest of this Next run. Next twenty minutes <laughs> or something. I don't know. I don't know what the timer is at. It's not gonna be twenty minutes. All right. That's Gabby done. Now, all we need to do is another volley and another blessing quest. Right. Nice, oh, nice onto there. This is that's when we need to use the fact that moving slows you down when you're in that diving and a uh, air yeah. can state to land on top of here. Yeah. So this is volley, but it's long. Long volley. My, my my field is pretty long. That that's that yeah. That's that's the volley. Uh, it's basically, it's basically the same as any other volley. Thank you. I, I would like, I would like these fight. I would like these. I never noticed they go up and down as a circle. These are evil. Oh my god. This is, oh, that's the spawn of like, oh, that's the, the worst. I should have hit this a long time ago. Oh my ago. god. I, it explains so much now. Alright, we're on 36 coins, that's perfect. 
And we are on three cassettes. That makes sense. Yep. Yes. Okay. You doing good, Naomi? We're only missing one bottle in the first level, and I have to keep reminding myself of that. Yep. One. Okay, final level, everyone. Except it's not. But it's the final level, everyone. It's Tapple HQ. Tapple is actually quite a short level. It's just it's just all over the place. There's no good routing for this one, honestly. Yeah. I try it my best. It's because you can't you can't exactly do a loop. Yeah. So you just end up zigzagging to do everything. Yeah, how I would describe it's kind of like you go around in a six, essentially. If, you, if, that, if that makes sense. Okay, I wanted that dragonfly, but I guess not. The ocean currents had a different idea for you. This is such a Moana moment. It was written in. It was written in the sea that your destiny must be different. Okay, these fish are very tight as well. This is anxiety fish in 2.0. All right. So, more fishing, and this is the last fishing, thank goodness. But at least it's a very sweet fishing. Because, you know, throughout the levels, right, Fisher kind of like always says like a little thing here and there. And in this one, Fisher's like, you know, I could have just found my hook by now and just done this by myself. But I enjoy doing it with you a lot more. Which, you know, if only fishing in and suck, you know, I, yeah. I'll, get, I'll give it to you. I do need my Apple account here, though. Uh, I, I can't cancel that right now. Okay. Go over here. Go over here. I am wondering where my Apple account is. See, I would have opened, like, my menu to check, but it doesn't show. 224. Um... You'll be able to, you'll be able to get a... Uh... We should... Be able to get more. It's gonna be bush RNG for it. Okay, that was the last mm -hmm. fish. We're gonna go ahead and get some more cicadas. I like to call them sick cicadas because they're very sick. And yeah, you, need, you need a uh, 36 more apples. Yeah, which is the issue. Quick maths. I suck at maths. Thank you. All right, we're gonna do some wall jumping. Here we go. Nice. Guess the tape. That is the plan, indeed. Oh, that was not what I wanted. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and actually gonna touch some of these bushes. I need these apples. Like, unfortunately, my apple routing or my apple luck, I would say, hasn't been the greatest. Because it's something. Part of it is luck. Um, but overall, I just missed a couple apples here and there, which is. Yeah, again, so, very sometimes, like, sometimes I saw, you know, apples would, like, phase through some geometry and just go, no, I needed that. Yeah. I, I'm very glad that we did that extra stop in Sammy Creek for those extra apples because we yeah. would have been in big trouble here. Yeah, otherwise. that would have been really bad. Then you would have had to like, you know, go, leave, yeah. come back. Uh, we're at like two thirty. You're at two thirty exactly. Yeah. See, see, there's a case of some bad RNG where wow. you get one from a bush. You can get a max of three, so yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm doing the routing a bit different fishing. That's first. Okay. It's it's for uh, better apples. Yeah. Okay. I will, I, will, I, I will trust that you will grab all the uh, stuff then. I believe in you. I just need to hit the 250 going down. And I have the 31. I need 19 more. That's not possible. Never say never. Mm, okay. That's unfortunate. Uh. Because this is not going to give me enough. Yeah, I miss I missed them in pool, like in the in the actual pool. Okay. Um, we're gonna do backup. Yeah, backup struts. It's a shame, like the the, the amount number of a uh, things that fell. Why did I do that? Yeah, you know, don't worry about it. Oh, dude, why? Uh, come on, Nico. You know, don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. You, you want these apples, Nico. You like apples. Apples are delicious. Are they? Okay, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm I, messing, like I'm messing, I like I'm apples. I'm messing, I'm messing, I'm messing. Uh-oh, the boxes are not... Uh-oh. I need more apples. 
It's okay, now you got this. We got plenty of time. I, I need more apples, Christian. That's I one of them. Three more. Oh my god, this is sad. Oh, I heard you. Oh, you can't be real. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we still need ten more, but we'll take this for now. Yeah, that that ten will get us the suit. That will get us the super jump. Yeah. Otherwise, we're yep. just gonna do applesauce, honestly. Yeah. Well, then you can show the people the, the true the true sauce of apple, the applesauce. The things I do have to kind of show that we have it. True. Ah. Yeah. Just so uh, see if you can get ten apples now throughout the rest of this. Uh, I missed the cassette. No, no, it's fine. No, that's right. That's correct. That's correct. We need to have ten yeah. here. Okay. I was thinking employee of the month. Right. Okay. And you got this. See, I still do got this. I have faith. I have faith. But yes, does I chat do. Chat have faith in me. They should do. Leave it at the chat. Don't, don't, don't they know who you are? You, you are Naomi Hacking Plays, base Nico runner. I mean, hacking is my middle name. Thank you, thank you for including that. Actually. A lot I'm of people not... can forget about that. Yeah, it's... No, you're a friend, so I make sure I remember these things. You're so blessed. All right, let's nice. see. Uh, yellow, red, blue, blue. Yeah. Okay, and the last puzzle. I hate it when I do that. Uh, oh, did he just do like a double pop? Where you, where you jump and it just like, oh, you want to put it here? You're already in a jumping state, and then it's like, okay, all right, that, that means we can place it down. I have 250 apples, okay, I did not get the super jump. That's what I thought, that's what I thought. That, okay. I'm gonna explain that one, why I, why I was unsure if I had the super jump. The reason why is normally in programming for this, you check if you have equal to or greater than 250 apples. In this game, they only check if you have greater than 250. So if, if you have 250 apples, he will not take them from you and give you the super jump. Which is why I was so unsu un unsure about this. Okay. All right. Um, now we're going to do the best volley in the game, by far. There's no competition. It's huge oh. volley. Wanna, let, let's put some serious commentary. The ball's coming back. Tristan hit it back. Also, I would like to say, ball. the chat does believe in you. I can <gasps> confirm. Oh my god. Alright, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna utilize double jumps. <sighs> yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, a little bit. So, what the double jump is, is I, I go into dive state, and then you see Nico kind of hop up. If I jump there at the same time, Nico jumps twice. Is it useful anywhere else in the run? No, but here it is. This is also the only run where we do a huge volley in the route because huge volley is normally skipped because every ball takes twenty to, no fifteen to twenty seconds. Yeah. Um. Which is a shame for how cool it is. Honestly, okay, I did not do a double jump. We'll take one the, more hit. One more hit. Ah, oh, he threw it to the right. There's actually a way you can hit it on the way back, but you know, there's no way I would have done that anyway. So here we go. That was huge volley. Very serious vibes. I need two more bugs. Um, yeah, usually you would just take the air can over because Naomi wants to get a couple more things on the way. Yeah, exactly. I need a couple of these. I need two more bugs. I know there's one near Blessly, so I kind of need a dragonfly around here, but I don't see one. Yeah, I can get a uh, Mitch volley here. <laughs> That's the last time we're gonna see Mitch. There's one here. I noticed a skater on the wall. We just got the skater. Thing is, they cheekily put it like right next to this event. There we go. Nice, dude. <laughs> nice. Nice. Let's go. Grab this. Last time we're gonna see Blessly. And then, chat, I regret to inform you. But we're also gonna be seeing. The best character for the last time, Mai. Can I get some F of the chats for Mai? This is the last time we'll see her in this run. I'm, I'm 0 right now. 
Thank you, Maya, for your service. All right. I'm going to grab a couple more apples, because I don't know how many I have. There's a lot on the collectible screen. Well, you know, even though they're clearly a collectible. Seven, eight, oh, nine. One more. Please. I beg, I beg of you, give me one apple, butch. Sad. Absolutely sad. Um, Is there any other bush? Oh, yeah, there's one near... You know, we're walking by them right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I went through these already. Uh-oh. Are you, are you going to have to do applesauce? I should I know refuse. you've got apples on the on the can, don't you? I don't, aren't there apples on the can? On the quan, I don't know. Oh, oh! Apple! No! Apple. Okay, 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 okay. I thought I was at the ledge. I was like, I can't grab it. Okay, that would have been a Greek tragedy. That it was just apples here. Uh, we okay. were fine. You, we you were, were fine. We were fine. <laughs> okay. All right, we have one... One more tape by hitting a, uh, this can. Christian. Yes? We're missing a coin. Uh, oh, I know which one we're missing. Okay, it's fine. I know which one we're missing. It's fine. We're missing a coin. It's the one that's right in front of me. No, no, no. We're missing a coin with this one included. Oh, that's why I was that? confused. Uh, huge volley. I forgot to talk to Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Because we were too busy collecting. I, I recently routed that in, so like it's still like a point of contention. It's okay. We're just going to lose a little bit of time. Who cares? It's fine. It's fine. Right, we're, I see, we're, I see, I, we're at the end I of the see, sir, I, I see church sweating. It's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. It's, it's fine. Would this frog lie to you? On the webcam? No. Exactly. Right. And that's everything. We just need the last bottle in, in home and then we got it. Then we have 100%. So we're actually wrapping up now. So we're going to go to the final interview with Pepper. And because repairing the soda can takes too long and app sauce is kind of hit or miss, we're just going to do the easy way. There you go. That's a super jump. You need 10 apples to use it. That's why we collect 160 of them. Yeah, we also need to collect a last bottle. Yeah. yeah. Well, not last, last bottle, but the last bottle in this level. It, it was supposed to be the last, and then I did an oopsie. Yeah, yeah. All right, and this is the Pepper interview. So now we're becoming a professional friend. Right. <laughs> now there, you're supposed to answer the questions, but Pepper really doesn't care what you answer. Yep, that that was Pepper. That that was the last time we hopefully see Pepper. Uh, and then we have a surprise visit on the train. We don't have a phone call. We have a surprise visit from our dad, because there's apparently a story to this game. And it's kind of it's too deep to go into, but essentially what's happening here is that dad is telling Nico that it's okay to be yourself. With this frog light to you. The picture of innocence. <laughs> there's only one correct answer. All right. All right, so last thing that we have to do is, for one, we're going to grab the bottle, and then we're going to do the fun, the, the best part of the game. It's snail costume buying time. Yeah. We've done lots of walking around, so there's lots of snail books. Yep. Is, isn't there a cozy place on top of here that you can do it rather than having to go all the way back? No, I'm just going to go all the way back. I have to go back one way anyway. All right. Say hello to uh, Fred. That's what I call my snail. We don't take further questions. That's the name. All right. So Fred likes food, likes that we clean up after him, and likes baseball. Fred is a real, real fan of the MLBs. There we go. Got two triples. And then if Fred is having enough fun, he will open the shop for us so we can buy things. And these cost money that we collect by walking. And that's why we mashed our buttons earlier yep. in the run. Because otherwise we would have been here for an hour and a half walking in circles. And I can't talk for an hour and a half and be entertaining for that long. While just walking in circles. So you know. I mean, you just have been talking for an hour and a half and being entertaining. But we were doing stuff. All right. And you would have been doing stuff. You would have been walking around in circles. 
Uh, Fred closed the shop, but you cringe. Come on, Fred. Do it for the run. All right, Fred wants to be fed, probably. Yeah, that's what I thought. Sometimes the snail isn't satisfied, and then we have to go back, and it's a whole ordeal. Yeah, we'll know that we <gasps> bought. Every, every, we'll know that we'll. Hey, chat. Want to see that grinding thing again? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Did you come? Did you come loose too soon? No, I. This is. This has never happened before. Did you just, or was it just you, or was it just the mashing was a bit too slow this time? No, I didn't. Chat, I swear it has not happened before. Oh god, that's the. Okay, there you go. Okay, we're gonna do this for two minutes. Yeah, luckily the, there's a uh, spot in, in this level you can do it, isn't there? So you can just do your mashing here. Do the snail. Yep. I, 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 I'm actually baffled. I don't know what to say. I am so surprised. I've never seen that. I normally have enough. Oh my well, god. You, you start at 2745. Uh, yeah, I yeah, am keeping an eye. We're like now, like almost a minute in. Hey, at least we don't have to walk circles for an hour now. That, I think that's pretty cool, honestly. Yeah, I that, think that's, that's pretty, pretty cool. cool. You go, oh, I don't have enough. Oh, kill him, just mash for a minute rather than, oh, I don't have enough. Gotta walk around for 10 minutes. I, I'm glad we have a very, very, very. Uh, what do you call it? Generous time frame. So yeah. I lowered the world records quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, you got you got a big PB like a, a couple days ago. Yeah. Right. And right, now Fred. we hope we have enough. All right, believe in Fred. All right, gotta raise fun a little bit more. Home run, baby. There you go. They call me the batter. Not cowboy hat, right? Yeah, that's okay, cool. That's it. That's, nice. it. that's it. That's it. Okay, okay, okay. And time's gonna end once we enter our home and it says the end on the screen, so be ready on that. Yep. And then now I'm gonna do the scary thing of checking that she does indeed have everything. Yep, we do have to do that after the run, which is okay. We, we do have to do this, so there's just gonna be yep. a bit Three, of a credit two, sequence. One and time. time. <laughs> there we go. Okay. We know we got all the coins, because it's at 76 yes. out of 75. The run is, you know, while the time is over, I do have to verify that we did indeed collect everything. Uh, snail costume-wise, we know that we collected everything, because the cowboy hat is always the last collectible. But everything else is kind of like a toss-up, because, you know, for a collective fun that this game is, it doesn't really keep track of your collectibles that well, in my opinion. There's a lot of things that, uh... No, UI yeah, that, that, that can be improved, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Uh, all well, right. We did well. So, though. Always good finishing. We did the rest great. Of we became the best professional friend there there ever was. Uh, um, to yeah. befriend them all was our <laughs> real test. To to to, um, uh, to get paid is our cause. <laughs> yes. That, that, that works. That works. That works. Yeah, yeah. It's Nico. Yeah. Got a friend of all. <laughs> <laughs> it's you and me. <laughs> I know it's our destiny. Oh, they're my best friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna continue this. Please, credits end. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Shout out to Active Gaming Media Inc. for giving us a faster way to play this game. I don't know. <laughs> there we go. All right. There okay. We go. So we're gonna go in the train. Stinky. What do you mean stinky? Fred, what, what are you talking about? Okay. So I have to go in this train, and then to confirm that we have 100%, we got everything in tap pool, everything in bathhouse, everything in pool, everything in. Salmon Creek, I forgot the name. Everything in Turbo Town, everything in Hairball, and everything Yay, in yes. home. This is a, a official 
100 100% bear fight run this is 100 we did it thank y'all so so much for watching thank you gdq for featuring me thank you christian for the commentary you're welcome and hey if you're in chat you looked at this game you're like this is a really cute game it's not only really cute, it's also super easy to learn. If you're interested in the 100% run, it's only 20 minutes. There's video guides up and there's a very cool community that's there to help you. So if you want to check it out, feel free to check us out on the speedrun.com uh, page. There's a Discord as well. And uh, I don't think this will be the last time we'll be seeing each other with Nico. So till next time, GDQ. Christian, if you have any last things you want to shout out, uh, no, you pretty much shout out everyone I will do. I'm just gonna say fo fo follow Naomi because you know, as 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 a uh, as the uh, uh, event just said, le legally cute she is. So you know, go give her a follow. <laughs> Back to you. Thank Chris. you, thank you both so much. Uh, this was a, a great run. Y'all both did really amazing. Uh, it was super cute, super fun. Uh, there were some bad food takes, but you know, it happens. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll overlook those. My goodness. You know, one, you know, there, there's one thing I wish we could have done, which was the, the, you know, in, in the, in the run was the blindfolded one. I just don't think we have time for it, honestly. Yeah. One day we'll see a blindfolded run of Nico. One day. I believe. I believe. <laughs> With all that said, uh, that is the last run of the night. Uh, we don't have another show following Legally Cute tonight. Uh, we do have more content coming up this weekend. We've got uh, Tina's RPG uh, uh, Tina's RPG show, I guess, uh, starting at 1 p.m. tomorrow. And then on Sunday, we have a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon uh, Gates to Infinity Anniversary Special. Um, so that's on 1 p.m. Saturday and then 1 p.m. Sunday. Uh, but that's all for tonight. Uh, with that said, we are uh, going to take a quick break while we look for somebody to raid. If you wouldn't mind just sticking around so that we can uh, raid somebody who's doing some speedruns and, you know, just uh, share the good vibes and speedrunning-ness. Uh, Have a great night, everybody.